What's this called? Taking the piss out of meat eaters, is it? Um, is fuck, what, what, did we, what did we call it? We called it... <laughs> meat, fuck. reacting to crazy meat eaters. Reacting Bomb. to crazy meat eaters. I mean, it's, it's, almost, it. it's almost redundant to say crazy meat eater because like... What's, yeah, suck can it. Can you have a meat eater in this day and age without being crazy? Gigliardo, gig is gig, is in the motherfucking house. What's up, bro? How you doing? Um, damn, you're not meant to swear in the first 30 seconds or you get demonetized. Oh, well, anyway, Carrie, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you again. So, everyone, who, recognize, who recognizes this legend in the other screen? Who knows who this is? I'm sure you got some fans in the chat, bro. What's up, Full Circle Network? All right, so for while people are rolling in, this, my friends, is one of the best, this isn't an opinion, this is a fact, one of the best activists to have ever done it for the animals. That's just facts. This is Andy Faulkner. He is a activist from Sydney, Australia. He's a, been a friend of mine for a long time now, haven't you, mate? Since back in the day, back at the beginning. And... Um, Andy has done a lot of different activism over the years, but I think you're going to really love, <laughs> really love what he's been up to lately. Full Circle Network said, I like his comedic activism. And the funny thing is, like, it is like a comedy show, but he's actually very serious in his activism. It's the fucking clowns that he speaks to that make it seem like a comedy show because of how much ridiculous shit they say. But anyway... Massive welcome and claps in the chat for Andy Faulkner. Welcome, bro. I'm getting all this delay. Yeah, you you a while back in that? How long back are you? I'm getting a bit of delay. Damn, dude. It's, so, it's like a second or two. I'm or hearing what? like voice three. You're Fuck. hearing many voices, are you? You hear. I'm hearing your voice over and over again, like a huge echo. Oh, it's because... Do you have he earphones? Do you have earphones? That'll fix the whole problem. <laughs> Every day, ever. Yeah, um, you YouTube, have, yeah. You don't have any earphones? I forgot that ingredient. Oh, fuck, earphones. Look at all these claps for you. Uh, you don't have earphones? No? You got, you got none anyway? I don't think I do. You don't think you do? I don't think I do. That's what he needs, isn't it? Because what's happening, bro, is you're hearing my voice come through into your... It comes out of the speakers into the mic, and then that's why there's a crazy echo. And there's probably, there's probably not much we can do about that. You could turn down the voice to where you can just hear it, and we can see if it makes much difference. Live streaming yeah. life, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it is. So I'm saying turn my voice down, turn your speaker down, and then I'll be less loud into your mic and maybe it'll be bearable and if it's not we might have to just have a party without you this time and um bring you in for the next one dude but i really it'll be so much better if you're here to give the commentary but um now andy's pressing random shit and it i can't even hear him anymore <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you, bro, at all. Fuck. Live stream life, people. This is how it is. Ben G, I don't think it's a restart it problem. I think it's a, a okay, problem. What about right, right now? I can hear you right now. now. I can hear you now. I got what you. about right now? You sound good to me. How do I sound to you? I've got to have headphones. It's not, it's not doable, bro. All right, okay. All right, yeah, it's going to be too much. Um, yeah, you're loud and clear. I sound fine now? We can do it or nah? Nah, I'm too crazy. I'm too many voices, right? Yeah, the delay is about five seconds. The delay is five seconds. Mm. No, no, you're not. You're one voice. I'm one voice. That's a shame. I'm good? It's just a delay now, right? There's like a five second delay or something. One voice, but with about a six, seven second delay. Six, seven second delay. <clears throat> That's going to make for a pretty weird conversation, yeah. bro. But maybe we can just give it a crack and see how it goes. 
This is like the old school <laughs> days of calling England and shit from Australia. This is going to be weird. Yeah, Happy to. Nah, this ain't going to fucking work, dude. What a shame. <laughs> it's too weird. Are you with a clinic? Huh? I don't know what that means. Connection issue. Um, oh. Nah, it's a it's an Andy doesn't have earphones issue. I wonder. Let me we, get some I wonder, and I wonder, bro. Bring it back in twenty four hours. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try one more thing. Wait, Nikki. Let's try one more thing. How about you try it through your phone? That might be better instead of your laptop. Post your put your phone up. Put your phone up on your laptop. Like once you've got it set up, okay. just how you did a minute ago, so that um, it's stable. Put it landscape, and then you can just watch it on your phone, and it might the sound might be better. All right. I'm prescribed cannabis in UK. Are you too? No, I'm not prescribed cannabis in the UK. But if I ever go there, I'll be sure to make that happen. Okay. Yeah, are you gonna do what I said there, bro? So you're gonna get yeah. All right, now get off it with your laptop. Fucking making progress here, people. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'll jump off the laptop. I'll jump off your laptop. All right. All right. We're going to get there, everyone. This, is, this has to happen. Because this guy is a fucking king. You guys need to see what this guy gets up to. So. No. Guest cam. There's a lot of fucking around when it comes to live streaming, guys. I don't know if you know, but it's extremely annoying. Go landscape, brother. Okay, getting somewhere. And it is great. Hell yeah. Just like in the news. Yeah, uh, All right, I can hear you. Now turn yourself around, bro. I can hear you. Okay, how do I sound? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just turn it. I'll just flip. Hang on. Yeah. But you still need to get it off your computer. Get get out of this screen on your computer. Can you talk for me? Yo, yo, Andy. What's up? What's up? Are you there? I'm here. You can't hear Jimmy me? Jimmy Cashby. <laughs> yo, yo, bro. Jimmy Cashby. Fucking what's the problem? Yeah? Can you hear me or nah? You there, Jimmy? Around, dude. Yeah, I can hear you. You sound great. What you about there, me? Jimmy? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me or not? <laughs> can you hear me, bro? Hello. Unmute. Um, are you? Am I muted, dude? Play around with that kind of shit. You can't hear me, so I'm kind of wasting my voice here. Nah, he can't hear me, and he's bailed. <laughs> Guys. We're going to make this happen. Don't worry. We're dedicated to the cause. We'll stay here all night. Actually, and I don't have that long. We will stay here for the next 30 minutes trying to make this shit work. Um, <laughs> I can... S the thing is that Andy warned me. He's like, I'm very not computer literate. You know, this. we should practice this first. And I'm like, dude, you just have to click a link. Don't worry about it. So... Kind of my bad. Get out of the window on your computer. But this is live stream life. And click the speaker if it looks muted. All right. I can see this, I can see this thing floating around. Hello. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, man. I'll send him some messages. I don't know if you're going to get them. Don't make me take back my like. Yeah, come on, Andy. We've we got to give it to the people or they're going to take back the likes and unsub and never come back. Please don't, Kerry. We need that like. Okay. Hello? Hey. Yo, I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you now. Bullshit. We're in business. Yes. All right, do I, do I sound okay? Can you just... Yeah, you sound great. Should I flip though? Can you see me? Flip, and then I can see you. So flip on the right. port, on the like selfie camera so that you can also see the screen because we're going to be reacting to your videos. We we there, people. See? Oh, fine. Can you hear me still? 
fly well, flipped. Over, says Joel Linton. Come on, bro. Yeah, I can see uh, you good. Can you hear me? Everything camera. sweet? Hang on. Selfie camera. Yeah. Selfie now you're on it. You're on it. Camera. You're already on it. You're already on selfie camera. Can you see yourself? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I know you just can't see him. I'm, I'm working on that right now. I don't know why that's the case, actually. That's very weird. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> All right. Next time he comes up, you're going to be able to see him. I didn't flip on the selfie camera. Let me just... Do I have to you go could. into my camera mode? And wait, 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 wait. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Can you see the screen? Like, you can see yourself in the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, now, there's only one thing left to do. And Susan, to answer your question about the Bitcoin ventures, I don't have any Bitcoin ventures. I've never had any Bitcoin ventures. So they're not going because they Bitcoin never was going. Crypto, also, I'm not really into right this at this time, but I've got some interesting things going on. I can see ya. Can you guys see Andy? And Andy, can you hear me? I can, I can hear you, man. Loud and clear. <laughs> All right. You sound a little echoey, do I? But whatever, who cares? Yeah, there's no delay this time. You're coming through real clear. Sorry, I haven't got the technical setup you have there right now. No, no, no. It's all good, man. It's my fault for being like, come on, let's just do it now. Who cares? Yeah, it's just <laughs> that you have two voices, and that's going to be because, as I was, you're going to hear it come through. Like, you'll say something. And it'll come through the screen into your mic again. Hmm. I don't think there's much we can do about that. I think what we should do is, who cares? We've come this far. Let's not just throw it away. We'll react to a few videos. It'll be a bit echoey. Who cares? Yeah. It'll still be hilarious. And then, yeah, let's just laugh at it. Yeah. yeah, fuck it, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Sounds cool. Yeah. All right, you sound like a mad robot, bro. So it's fine. Let's <laughs> Fuck do it. Yeah. He could plug headphones in, gig, but he doesn't have headphones. <laughs> I'm actually a DJ. And I'm not, no headphones here. That's pathetic. You are not a DJ. You need headphones. Bro. <laughs> I don't trust you. All right. Well, we ready enough. We ready enough. So now I just got to find where these hilarious videos are on my computer. Hold up one moment. Where the fuck did I put them? Hmm. Oh, here it is. No, that's not it. Where is it? I might need my wife again. Nikki's so busy with this lately. Nikki! Yeah. <laughs> Nikki! Where did it go? Where did it go? I had it. I think I accidentally... Oh, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. All right. Ooh. All right. No. What did you say? I brushed my teeth. Ready for the show. Yeah, you're looking super fresh, bro. All right. Look, we so close. We so close. <laughs> you're looking fresh already, bro. Brush, getting ready. <laughs> All right. I'm ready Nikki. once you've done brushing. Oh, got it. I got it. You We're got good. It. We're good. All right. Now, so the last thing to find out is if anyone can even hear it when we play. But I think we're going to be good. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce you to the amazing animal rights work of Andy Faulkner. Andy, what the fuck can I hear you anymore for? <laughs> this guy's crazy. Stop pressing shit. <laughs> what happened to him? My God. Can't hear him anymore. What are you doing, Andy? I see you pressing buttons. Don't. We had it. <laughs> Bye. Oh, okay. See ya. That's good. All right. Anyway, if that's Andy, guys. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> what a legend. I told you. He's, he never lets us down. Always impressive. Now he's, he's talking. He's back on a new screen. We I'm going to have to do a whole bunch of new shit. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me, bro? My God. 
Stop lolling, guys. This is very embarrassing. I've been streaming for a whole week. I should have this covered by now. My God. Andy, stop clicking the fucking thing. We had it, dude. What happened? Go to landscape. Flip your phone around again, remember? I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, oh, man. man. To my fans. Now you're echoing shit again. We had that going for a minute there, too. All right. Hello? Frozen. It's good. It's good. All right, see ya. Cool. It's all good, guys. Look, I'm going to be honest. I don't think God wants this to happen. No, I think it's, I think it's Zuck. Because I'm going to be showing you through Facebook. He's like, nah, this activist is too powerful. Okay, he's on a news screen. I'm going to have to copy this shit again. Hello, can you, you hear me, bro? I'm here. I'm yeah, here the whole time. I don't know where I went, but I'm back. Okay, I, I don't, don't know, know where you went either, but I saw you pressing a lot of buttons. Don't do that anymore. Uh, yeah, no, I won't do that. I was trying to turn it up, but uh, that shouldn't be touched. All good. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. So, boom. And he's back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I, I will <laughs> react to my speaker and just hold up for a second. We're about to get busy. There's a few little technical difficulties. Now, <laughs> just, a, just one or three. So, all right. Now, as I was saying, first of all, before we show it, Andy, can you just give a bit of a intro into a little bit of your past? Like, I know you've been on this very spot in this street in Sydney, in this mall, right in the middle of the city, for a long time yeah. before you were even doing this kind of activism. So why don't you tell us what you've been doing in this spot over the years and how it's evolved and where it's at now? Oh, man. We started going to this spot, Pitt Street Mall, Sydney CBD, for oh, 2016. Started going there. Um, doing the Cube of Truth, setting up TVs every Thursday, every Saturday. Oh, we're doing it all over Sydney. Um, for, must have set up TVs 400 times, mate. Yeah. Um, 400 Cubes of Truth, first there, last to leave, charging man. all the batteries. It's massive work. Yeah, it's man. a real heavy load. Um, but nah, You were um, smashing it so consistently, bro. You were doing two Cubes a week for a while there, right? Oh, for years. Dude. Mm. Yeah, Legendary. really intense. Claps in the chat. This dude's seen a lot of shit. All right, so you've been doing that for a long time, bro. And um, how... Are, yeah. Okay, so now what are you doing? How did it evolve? Like, we don't need to go into the details of why you got into it, yeah. but just well, in terms of the activism you're doing now. Yeah, in Sydney, the police um, stopped us showing beheadings. So there were no beheadings allowed to be seen on televisions. In Specifically the beheadings? Yeah. Yeah, really no death. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So we could show farming practices, but not slaughterhouse deaths. So I evolved to do signs. So I now do all the deaths on images. Mm -hmm. But that was going well. I thought it was it was going really well. Um, 42 big signs set up in the city. I was getting probably 10% of the public looking. Yeah. Um, but that changed late in 2022 when I added slaughterhouse screams in out of a big speaker roaring down the mall. So now it's 95-ish percent people paying attention. So I know that after Dunning done counts that uh, 30,000 shoppers pass us on a Saturday afternoon for four hours. Wow. So Huge. we're getting... We're getting nearly 30,000 abusers paying attention to their abuse um, because of these slaughterhouse screams. So I'm finding them, it's 30,000 paying attention versus the cube of truth to days that were two, 300 people paying attention. Yep. So it's 1% versus nearly 100%. Yep. Not to bag out the cube of truth, I just recommend that they should, um, I wish me, I wish I had been playing Slaughterhouse Screams with a huge vegan message all around the cube those four or five hundred times we set that thing up. Got you, got you. Okay, so... That's what it means. Add it. To mm. summarise, to summarise, you used to do the Cube of Truth. You, you spoke to people just like, you know, just the typical stuff. Then you had to get... Um, stop showing the beheadings that kind of put a massive spanner in all the footage you guys show and 
you know, complicated things. And you tried this new way of just showing the worst of the cruelty, but with the signs, with the, with the pictures on the shot signs. And yeah. then you added, it was going good. People were stopping, they were talking, they were engaging, but then you added screams, that sound yeah. of the screams, very loud. And yeah. in this highly populated spot, touristy kind of spot, like this, everybody's rolling through right in smack bang the center of sydney there's just animals screams from being tortured in slaughterhouses Pig, pigs in gas chambers and cows and baby cows screaming their heads off when kidnaps happening yeah. uh just just definitely we're They're making sure shit. it's loud the realest of the real you know as real as it gets potentially in some so, ways even more powerful than the footage you know, like those screams yeah. pierce you. You're like, whoa. If you watch a footage it's, without the screams, it's a whole different experience. Those screams are yeah. instrumental. Well, the footage is good. Well, like obviously brilliant. Of course, yes. But is it brilliant if you've only got 1% of the people paying any attention to it, just walking past without any idea that it's a vegan message? Yeah. And what's going on in the screams? Like I now know after 10 years at this game that the carnists aren't exactly bright. And uh, one plus one equals three for them. Oh, yeah. So they literally need this spelt out, smack bang in the face. You're an abuser because you're not vegan. This is the hell you pay for. Yep. Screams. Screams, bro. Straight from hell. Fucking love mm. it. So and then you're hitting, hitting both senses because then they're seeing it with their eyes. They're hearing it with, with their ears. Boom. One plus one is two. Yeah, yeah, it's undeniable at this point. They're screaming just like you'd scream if you were in there, you know? Because mm -hmm. the screams, mm -hmm. like when people look at animals, they see something totally different, you know? This is, mm -hmm. we're not animals, oh. they're animals. But those screams, yes. that's some universal, you know, for, for us as mammals at the very least, because fish don't scream, you know, but we all understand a scream very well. And 100%. And looking at through their lens they don't even see an animal obviously they just see meat milk and eggs product leather yeah. wool that's a product they, they yeah, just we, see these magic what's the problem? magic they're things that, that are on the supermarket shelf that belong to them so they're bred we, for this they're, shit. On... they're ours they're here <laughs> they're... for this god put them here yeah, made of meat that's my meat why my would... meat mine why? it's theirs already why would god put them here and make them delicious if god didn't want us to slit their throats I mean, fucking one plus one <laughs> equals three trillion, bro. So anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, so the point look. being that they're, they're rock bottom, they're at zero on the starting blocks as far as I'm concerned. So we are yep. trying to just say, boom, think about a slaughterhouse for the first time in your life because you're not thinking about it. You're not even considering these animals that are nothing but objects, property, slaves, machines. Who said oh, yeah. that? I got that one. Came up with that in a Vipassana. Yeah. On like yeah. day two of the Vipassana, I was, I was already like, okay, I'm in this 10-day uh, silent meditation. I need, I need an income if I'm going to be doing all this a uh, activism. This is just after I did my vow of silence for a year. I'm like, how am I going to support myself if I'm going to keep doing activism instead of go back to personal training? I had some friends who um, had a shirt company in the Soul Shine and um, her sister now Vegan Leather Co., and they were like, we'll help you. You make a shirt, we'll, we'll do the back end and that. I'm like, all right. So I go into this Vipassana and on like day two, I thought of the idea, animals are not property objects, slaves, machines. But I didn't want to stay on that, <laughs> keep thinking about it, but I was worried I would forget it. I'm like, what if I forget? I've got mm. so many days of meditation to go. I've got a mad shirt. So I remembered with the acronym POSM, P-O-S-M. Property objects, ah. slaves, machines. I was like, all right, I can leave that. I'll remember possum. I got a shirt, and then I did my thing. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, but, all right. possum. Exactly, dude. So, um, so look, we're gonna watch some videos now. People who are watching this in the chat, what's up? And consider how how this might work somewhere near you. Maybe, or maybe you know, you might want to get involved in a type of activism like this. You might want to encourage other people who are already doing it to consider something like this, but these screams are so powerful. You're going to see it. And, you know, there's the, Andy has so many videos on his Instagram, Save Poppy. And um, 
you know, it's just mind blowing the impact that he's having. And on top of just the people there, obviously going past getting, hearing these screams, you know, their days, they're like slapped across the face with the truth with these screams. And then these signs are really doing the educating for them. You don't need necessarily a whole bunch of outreaches if there's all these signs explaining what the screams are. But on top of that, they've got outreaches. So they're out there. Yes. Quit, what's up? They're out there recording these on top of all that even. And then they go from reaching potentially 30,000 on a Sunday to millions. How, you've reached millions many times, haven't you, Andy? Yeah, yeah. I was on a roll there for a while. Probably got yeah. to about 70 million. 70 um, million? But yeah, on the, on the TikTok. Got about 70 million in there. But, um, Legendary. I had, I had about six or seven profiles get banned, though. Yes. Yeah. Um, TikTok. Yeah, I was telling the truth, man. Can't but, do that on TikTok, bro, or many places these days. <laughs> what but, um, yeah. One thing is, though, um, with the screams will really get their attention, there'll be a huge crowd around us. Yep. And then they'll, when they want to argue, it's turn the screams off, pull out the microphone, and get the interview done. Right. So, so it's a street interview on the mic, so everyone can hear it live happening right there before their eyes with a live mic in the street so that's what you're probably going to watch in a minute with the mic happening the, with the screams have just been turned off by one of our guys in the middle cool so that's a yeah that's a good tip for anybody who considers this to be something they want to try out themselves they're screams constantly until there's someone to film a conversation with and then these are the types of because these people mm. from what i've observed from your videos tell me if it's different but they seem way more triggered than the people who walk past the cube and maybe stop to check out the cube. They seem more curious, more interested. Maybe they get a few shit talkers here and there. But compared to these in-your-face screams and in-your-face yeah. signs with messages yeah. and you with, a a butcher's, signs, you with a butcher's thing on there covered in blood and interviewing yeah, people mate. loudly, bro, like you have set it yeah. up so golden. A lot, a lot of these signs, signs are from Tarry and Partridge, Joey's Carbstrong's girlfriend. She sent me a lot of these um, files. And it's like, you caused this campaign. So we're really putting the blame on them as the abuser. We're not just having a sweet-ass conversation about, oh, is it good? Is it bad? What do you want to do? We're really exactly. saying, you're at fault. Fuck yeah. I'm so over it, bro. When people try to debate me on this shit now, I'm like, no, 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 no. This isn't a debate. We're not debating here on whether this is okay or not. I'm here to educate you on something you're doing that's wrong. That's the difference. Like, I'm done with this debate shit. Why are we debating animal rights? This is, the debate's over. <laughs> we won it a million times. How many more times have we got to win it? Debate yeah. over. Yeah. You guys are animal abusers. Change your fucking behavior. It's disgusting. That's it. Absolutely, mate. That's, that's the point we're at. We, yeah, I, I did, did that for exactly. eight years. Had sweet conversations too. But the last two years just been, <laughs> screw that. Yeah, man. Mm. Like, because what you realize, and tell me if this is why you've sort of transitioned, because I know you were, we used to talk all the time about strategy and, be like, and talk about like how, how this, mm. this approach of friendly conversations, and they're great, don't get us wrong. We encourage friendly conversations and you know, encouraging, yeah. educating, and inspire people, inspiring people. But after yeah. 10 years, both of us, you get to a point where you're like, hmm, a lot of people didn't, they got educated, but they, well, and they got encouraged and they got inspired and they didn't yeah. go vegan. What the fuck? Yeah. It didn't work. We need more. 100%, 100%, yeah. 100% bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah. it's giving them the truth. You're just giving them the honest truth, which is a gift. You're telling someone they're an abuser, they're behaving like a shocking individual. That is great. They should be saying, thank you. 100%. I'm so grateful to... You know, I watched Earthlings, that helped me a lot. But Gary Orofsky's speech, him explaining this shit for an hour is what I was like, oh, <laughs> now I get it all. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Yep. Need to be all it takes is just an ounce of integrity and you go vegan. The slightest bit of decency, you go vegan. It's not a debate, you know. Being vegan is mm -hmm. what we should all you, do. We just, like we shouldn't we have have just like we shouldn't abuse children, we shouldn't abuse animals, and we don't need to. Yeah. Yeah. So we watch TV. Can we see the vid now? 
Yeah, we're gonna yeah. watch. Okay, I'm just trying to build the anticipation, guys. You know, I had a bit of a so- fault start. <laughs> oh no! How dare your video turn off right now? Okay, you back. You back. Thank other people. I had, I had to, to touch, touch it. The screen, screen went dead. dead. You sound all bad again, bro. Talk again. Oh a bit. fuck! What the fuck? What in the fuck? Nah, we're being hacked, dude, hundred percent. This is hacker shit. You're all delayed again, I I'm delayed again, aren't I? Oh. No, you're fine here. Hmm. So what's the problem? Because you seem like something's a problem. Are you good or nah? Stop laughing, Kerry. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I can hear you fine. You can hear Hang on, maybe I'll touch the mic. No, it's not better because now I can't hear you at all. That better? Yeah, okay, Michael's just laughing at me. You good? I'm, I'm good, good, I'm good. good. Can, Can you, you play, play it? What did you change, dude? Because there's double the echo now. <laughs> oh, no. no. I, I, my, my, my screen, screen just went, my, my screen screen went black because I'm on the iPhone, so the screen just went black and I just tapped it. All right, listen, back. Bro, listen, listen. Get off. Get on again. Go, go again. And we're going to start yeah, yeah. again. The anticipation is take, great, take one isn't second. it? Yeah, 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 no worries, bro. <laughs> Live streams, guys. This is how it is. But he doesn't have headphones, MTC, crazy. Otherwise, yeah, that's exactly what we'd be doing. He is a DJ without headphones. That shit don't make no sense. All right, hang on a minute here. He's coming back. Slowly. <laughs> Thanks for your patience, everyone. I appreciate it. Stick with us. It's going to be worth it. These are some of the most hilarious videos from the most triggered meat eaters you'll ever see. And um, people need to get onto this form of activism because it is like revolutionary, I would say. The anticipation is real. Okay, gets it. He's coming back, bro. I can see him. I can see the, the thing swelling, you know, when something's loading. DJ Jump Hat is my alias. You're a DJ sick. What kind of music? Yo, yo, Andy, what's up? Can you hear me, bro? <laughs> Why the fuck can you not hear me? Hey. Hello? <laughs> don't worry about it, Andy. We don't need you, man. We're going to laugh without you. Can't hear you, bro. Is he doing this on purpose? He's like trying to undermine my stream. He doesn't respect the stream. Is that what this is? Sabotage. Dude, hello. What the fuck's going on here? I'll message him. I'm like, hello, we have a whole crowd of people waiting, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> he took the vow of silence. <laughs> He's mastering the vow of silence right now. Not a single sound. I like to inspire. Maybe, maybe he got another call, Satan inside. Maybe he's busy. Something come up, you know? He's like, fuck it. Fuck this shit. Oh, shit. Yep. See? I was right. Doesn't care at all. Okay. Maybe something's happening. Don't get too excited, anybody. G'day, Andy. I can hear ya. <laughs> can you hear me? No, of course not. He looks very confused. Uh. Yo, bro. Fuck. You can hear me? Because I can hear you good. No. What are you doing? Press buttons. You were pressing so many buttons earlier. Press the speaker button. Yeah, James? I'm here, bro. Yeah. 
I can hear. <laughs> there he goes again. Peace, bro. Get it together, bro. People are getting mad. People's patience is... Give your, give your mic some B12. Duh, obviously, Andy. Can't believe I didn't think of that. Vegan of 10 years. Didn't even realize to give his mic a B12 injection. Thanks for the idea, Austin. Oh, look, he's back again. Surely so that he can sabotage the stream some more. Let's see. Let's see. I will give this. I say we're going to give this half an hour. I don't know when we started this. 35 minutes ago. All right. But there was a time there where it did work. So cutting that out. Let's try a few more minutes or so. And then if it don't work, we're going we're gonna to watch it together. Don't worry, everyone. I'm not going to just be like, sorry, didn't, it didn't work out. We'll get Andy for another one. You like this shirt? Fucking thanks, bro. I love this shirt. This is only, I only wore it a couple of times, but yeah, it's a mad shirt. Very comfy. Very, um, very, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of like a silky, silky feel. It's nice. Thank you very much. Dude ain't even loading no more. I'm about to bail this guy and get him off my friends list for all this embarrassment. And I'm not even gonna show his videos anymore, actually. He goes, okay, I can't hear you, but uh, he's gone again, fuck. All right, so look, it's 9.38 where I am now. Where are you guys, by the way? Let us know. And what time is it? By exactly Ben Rodriguez, the show must go on. <laughs> even though this is the star of the show, together, I think we'll be able to make something work here. Guest cam properties. All right, he's slowly coming back. Actually, I'm gonna try one more thing. Yo, can you hear me? Yo. No, he can't. Fuck. Try computer once more. <laughs> I bet it's something so simple like speaker button. UK, it's late. UK, oh, past midnight already. Cool guys, I use you know, no early morning tomorrow or just can't put the stream away because you know these videos are gonna be fucking good. Uh, I think Andy is just gonna try on his computer now. And if it doesn't sound too crazy and um, distorted than that, we'll, we'll watch some videos, so. I don't, I almost said then, let's watch one together while we're waiting. Let's watch one together while we're waiting, fuck it. How about that? All right, so. I say up at night, less humans. I relate, mate. I love being up at night until many hours, like the late hours, because not everyone else is asleep, bro. It's like your time with the world. I love doing it, especially lately. 940 in Chile. Cool, man. Anyone else in the US? West Coast. Where in the West Coast, Ben? And what time is it there right now? Australia. Wicked. Which part of Australia, Kerry? Have you ever seen Andy doing his thing? <laughs> Andy, who has completely disappeared from this whole situation now. <laughs> well, at least it was something. It wasn't a stream with an activist so much showing his videos, but it was a comedy show. So. Oh, I have issues getting to sleep. My brain is too active. Yeah, there's a lot to think about, isn't there? Goddamn life. Um, my brain is too active. What do you think about Satan, if you don't mind sharing? And have you had tried anything to remedy that? Like intense physical exercise or sleeping pills or what's that stuff where it's a, it's a supplement you can get that I've had so much and I can't remember what it is. Mel melatonin. Melanin or melatonin? Melatonin. Melanin. Fuck, I'm confused. Which one is it? New Zealand, what's up? 
Yo, Ellie L at Brisbane, how you doing? Island vegan crayon. Yo, dude. Melatonin, thanks, wife. I am awaiting an ADHD diagnosis. Really interesting. Um, good luck with that, mate. Someone commented on my <laughs> in one of my comments the other day on the video with I think it was a video with Jack. I know some of you saw that one. And um they said, like, James, I have ADD or ADHD, I think they said. You look like you have it too. So, I don't know. I asked, like, why? What makes you think that? Maybe, I don't know. I've never been tested, but um, she didn't get back to me. And then my wife said, maybe it was just that you were high. And I was like, oh, yeah, could have been that. Very possible. Andy is just gone and not, not responding to me, nothing. <laughs> He's just out. He's over it. It's my fault. Well, no, a DJ should have headphones, right? But I did kind of just be like, hey, Andy, you busy? Let's stream. And he said, I'm busy. I've got to do stuff. And I said, but what about right now for one hour? He said, I'm terrible with technology. We should probably practice first. And I said, don't worry about it. All you got to do is click a link. My bad there. No, you need to click a link and you need headphones. So... Blame me, blame me. Red light therapy, indica, Satan, have you tried CBD? Yeah, CBD oil could be a good move. There seems to be a strong link with neurological brains and injustice. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Don't take cow parts. What cow parts would be good to help anyone sleep? All right, and he's gone. You snooze, you lose, bro. But we're going to win. So let's go to a... Oh, actually, what am I doing here? Where did, what did I do? There we go. All right. Let's do it. I'll make me a little bit bigger. I'll fill some screen up here. Pineal glands, cow parts. What the fuck? That's crazy. L is snacking on avocado toast and I'm jealous. That sounds good. We had wraps with like this cream cheese, um, cucumber, big chunks of TVP, very nicely spiced, and um, rice and some hot sauce and some veggies and goddamn, it was so good. All right, so anyway, I'm not going to ask if you're ready. You've been ready for 42 minutes. Wow, thanks for sticking around. Let's get straight into this shit, shall we? Humans are some. Can you hear it before I go on? Did you hear that little second or two there? Hmm, anybody? Help a bro out. I got a yes, let's do it. Humans are superior animals to these animals, okay? We are at the top of the food chain. You're better than the baby cow getting the head smack. So much better than the baby cow. They should be stolen from their mum, have their head smashed in, so you can have some cow titty juice from a cow. More important. That's how brilliant you are. We are more important. Wow, that's amazing. You should have a medal, a medal for bravery. Let's give you a medal. You should have a bravery medal. It's pre productive, mate. Have a bravery medal. Humans are superior animals. One thing I've noticed a lot with Andy's content is there's always kids interested. And they come and do some bullshit. Like they'll join in the circle kind of thing or whatever. They'll all be eating KFC. They chuck bones, like chicken bones at Andy and shit all the time. People get so triggered by this type of activism and just for anybody who may be joined late or whatever, Andy plays the screams from inside the slaughterhouse very loudly in a very public area in Sydney, Australia. Lots of signs explaining exactly what's going on and a vegan message. And then when people stop, want to have a chat about it, he interviews them, turns the screams off, interviews them. And I love that it reaches the kids like this and they want to chat about it because... Man, I wish someone brought this to my attention when I was this age. I don't remember ever, ever having a conversation about animal rights with anybody. Um, so, yeah. 
All right. So boom, that's a little taste. Let's go to another one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Developed our brains differently. So if you go, if you go in a car right now, if you go in a car right now, you're gonna, your brain's going to grow. Is that right? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we use our brains differently. So what happens in the past? There's no argument whatsoever. But how can your brain grow if you go and eat a pig right now? It does matter what happens in the past because it, there's no way that we would, would have gotten to the top of the food chain. Why are you planning? Why are you planning what's happening in caveman times? It's 2024, man. Caveman times. I'm saying we have like a supermarket down there. You can pick up any vegan product. We've developed our brains differently. So exactly. People always say this shit. Oh, but eating animals developed our brains. I usually respond to that. Did you know that rape may have helped grow our population? Does that mean that it's okay to do that? No. What our ancestors did, who didn't have an evolution of their moral ideas anywhere near to the point that we do now, although clearly we're still very off with a lot of things. Why are we saying well, this helped our brains grow and it was a good thing. And first of all, that's not even facts. Uh, there was a, the most recent update I've heard on that was from Sydney University, funnily enough, where they said, no, it was actually more likely to be the cooking and the starches that we ate or, or the carbs in general. Maybe it wasn't so specific starch. I can't remember exactly, but you can look up the study. And yeah, why would it matter? Like he's right and he's right. Why? Who cares about the past, bro? What's that got to do with anything? You do need to eat a pig now for your brain. Nah, you don't. And that's all that matters. Anyway, but how good is this? Check this out. 10 minutes later, this lad did a 180 backflip. That's a pretty crazy move. And vowed to watch Dominion.org. Vowed to go watch Dominion. Mate, if you can get a kid to watch Dominion, that is the best thing that could happen to them. That plus them understanding what they're watching doesn't need to happen at all, as vegans prove every single day. Boom, that is a huge win there. All right, let's move on. Why does this happen every time? Stabbing individuals. Everyone should just leave them alone. You're literally obscene and stabbing individuals to death. It's psychotic. I would give out the royal Easter shot if all I can. It's totally psychotic to be doing this to animals. It's full narcissism and psychotic behavior. Do you have any definition of psychopathy? You guys get the definition of psychopathy. I don't know if you can hear, but there's guys yelling out, you pussy and all this. I would like to see if these guys would ever be courageous enough to stand in a busy area like this and challenge every single person who goes past with a microphone about their belief system and their hypocrisy in the abuse that they cause on animals. I bet none of them would. Because this dude, Andy, is a... He's a very courageous man. This takes a lot of, a lot of strength, determination, uh, thick skin. As I said, they're throwing chicken bones at him and shit like that, you know? He is a very brave guy. And people think he's... I get this all the time too. Oh, you're a pussy. You're a pussy because you're vegan. What the fuck are you talking about? We go against all of yous. We, we go against the grain. We stand up for what we believe in. We don't care what you think about it. And we're defending the innocent, vulnerable animals. And you're saying that that's a pussy thing to do, but it isn't pussy for you to abuse, torture, and then murder these precious, vulnerable, innocent beings. That's not pussy to you guys. So stupid. It's so stupid. And... People need to realize how stupid it is. And that's exactly what Andy, as you can see, no, no holding back anymore. Like we still hold back. I hold back a lot. I have to hold back if I'm on Instagram and YouTube. I already got so many restrictions everywhere from trying to just be honest. You can't be fully honest. And he's in this public area. I bet there's a lot probably that he doesn't say strategically, you know, because People should be really screaming and making a massive, massive deal about this. You know, if it was humans in their situation, how would we respond? And that's a really good way to think about things when you are defending animals. So let's watch another one. Whose life does a cow belong to? You or the cow? 
Okay, I'm gonna say, do you want every power on earth, dude? You can do what you want with it. Yes, we do. I'm like you. you. Must be pretty special. Can you make a good argument and stop so I can't think of why any of you guys are so good that any animal should suffer. Whether they're a rabbit, a pig, a cow, a fish, why they should suffer for anyone in this world. It just shouldn't exist. No one in this world is more special than any animal in the world. It's hard. It's hard. Like, look at how they're talking. This guy's just trying to stop animals getting tortured. And everybody is so against this idea because they're obsessed with the taste of flesh. And they're just really brainwashed to think they need milk for dairy, meat for protein, etc., etc. Um, Max Louise said, I like this activism. I don't like being nice about what's happening. You know, it has its place. But if people are going to attack you, for encouraging people to stop slaughtering animals, then this is a perfectly valid response. And it's, it's the response that makes sense, you know? It makes sense to call it out as it is psychopathy, like insanity, just fucking so wrong, so obviously wrong. As I said earlier, it's not a debate. This isn't a debate about should animals have rights. It's very obvious. It's a logical extension of human rights. Yes, they should have rights, just like Black people having rights is a logical extension of human rights. Like, they're humans. They deserve rights. Animals are sentient beings, and we should afford other sentient beings certain rights, such as the right not to be enslaved and slaughtered. So, yeah, it's obvious. And um, sometimes you really need to get in people's face like this, and that's why I really want you guys to see what Andy does. Because it's also so taxing. Like, you know, this you don't get a lot of support doing this. Even from other vegans, so many vegans tell him to stop doing this shit. But as he said, he got like 70 million views from doing this. And what's he doing? He's just being honest. He's just telling her how it is. He's showing the reality. And he's not the problem here. The problem here are the people who keep defending this bullshit. All right. Next. I guess like, look, these videos as well, they're very TikTok friendly. They're 30 seconds. There's a lot of longer videos that you can um, find on his Instagram. But... The part that you're also not seeing on these videos, as he explained, he turns off the sound of the screams. So I want you to just imagine, until this conversation happens, it's the loudest screams, the most horrible screams of animals on these big speakers, just blasting everybody. And every, everybody that's walking past hears that. You know, not everybody sees just a scream with a quiet song, and I'm not trying to diss that. I fucking love the Cuban truth so much. It has a massive place. Like, it's so good. And a lot of places won't allow what Andy's doing here. Um, and they didn't even allow the Cuban truth properly. They didn't allow them to show the slaughters. You know, so he's adopted it. But by adopting it, from them cancelling what they were doing, Andy is very convinced that he has found something that works in this area times 100 times a thousand in terms of reaching people and, um, and you know, getting everybody who walks past with the screams. So keep that in mind that before and after these conversations, boom, it's just back to sl tortured animals screaming. All the victims of these people walking past. All right, next video. This is girl again. I'm like, send me some videos, send me your favorites. He's just sending me four of this same chick. But anyway, let's go. Like you, I eat meat because it's delicious. I'm like you. You get fun out of hurting animals. Yes. You get pleasure out of making animals suffer. Yeah. Sound like you must be an animal lover. Are you an animal lover? Um, unfortunately, yes. An animal lover. Yes. And you pay them to have their heads smashed in and head chopped off. That's amazing. Not like you. I think that was an excellent video. I think she was so confident as they always are so overconfident you know oh man what an attitude to come to an activist to like to come to an activist with this this overconfidence of yes animals should have their throats slit and then he just asked a simple question are you an animal lover to this young girl who probably has a dog or a cat and probably loves horses and all these kind of animals are you an animal lover Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, cool. You realize how stupid you sound now? Yes, you just realized it a new. Good. Okay, go think about that. Next video. All right, we got a minute video here. 
Farming dogs to be had and eat is good if they're bred for it. Let's see. Let's see what the public have to say. When people, I just want to read this from MTC Crazy. When people criticize my style of activism, I ask them about their style and how many people reached out to. Mate, I do this all the time. I get so many people who have criticized me over the years. Maybe you're already aware of that. And um, I always just say, who are you to criticize me? Who, what have you done? I don't even know who you are. And that's not to say you haven't done anything, but you're going to attack me. I've had a pretty decent impact. I'm pretty happy with it. And I've got millions of views, tens of millions of views. I've been all around the world preaching about animal rights for the better part of a decade. So what the fuck are you criticizing here? I'm out there doing my thing. I ain't saying I'm perfect. I ain't saying I'm the best, but I'm doing my thing. Why aren't you spending this valuable time that you're criticizing an activist who's clearly making a difference? Why aren't you spending this time going and talking to animal abusers, meat eaters? What the fuck are you doing here? So stupid when people do that. And it's very annoying to hear this shit from vegans because if anybody should be supporting people like Andy, it's vegans. And just because most of them don't have the courage to do what Andy's doing, they should still support what he's doing. I think. I think so. Now, they got their reasons why they don't support it. And I just think they're stupid reasons. They ain't, they ain't thought this true enough. They don't, a lot of vegans, I'm very glad. I'm very glad every single vegan, you know, very, very, very glad. Even if they don't advocate for animals, they're secret ninja vegan, whatever. I'm fucking so glad they're vegan. Um, fuck, I actually forgot what I was going to say. What was I going to say then? I don't know. Let's see if it comes back to me after this video. What if we break dogs for the purpose of killing dogs? Is that okay, suddenly? Yes! Yeah, oh, now you're okay with eating dogs as long as they're bred to be eaten, right? Yes. Alright, I was gonna say, I'm very glad that people are vegan. We'll watch this again, sorry about that, but I want to get this thought out there. I'm very glad for all the vegans out there, but not every vegan really understands speciesism. They've seen slaughter. They're like, animal cruelty is bad. I don't want to support that. I'll go vegan. Fucking awesome. That's great. But a lot of these people still kind of see animals as an it. Kind of see animals as something different from us. You know, and they are something different, obviously, but very different to the point where we're not really animals. They're animals, not really us. Um, they don't really see other sentient beings from other species as people, non-human people. They, they, that's what I've noticed. And maybe you guys tell me if you have a similar experience, a similar observation, but obviously a lot of vegans fully get it. Like maybe the majority, I don't know the numbers, but I also, it's been pretty clear to me over the years that there's levels to the understanding of, of who animals are for one thing, and also of the severity and urgency of the situation. And you can really tell when you get people criticizing people like Andy, you know? So this channel three saying, I would label these people plant-based, not vegan, because vegan is the lifestyle. Well, I think you can still be in favor of animal rights, but still have some lack of understanding of who animals really are and lack of understanding of the magnitude of the situation. I'm still coming to terms with it. I, even speaking for myself, I've got way more serious about this over the years as I've grown to understand who animals are more and see them much more like just myself. And on top of that, understand, fuck, there's so many, there's so much violence happening all day, every day. Numbers you couldn't even comprehend, you know, and it, over time, all, these realizations become more clear to you. I like Andy very much, says animals are here with us, not for us. Me too. Huge fan. What if we break dogs for the purpose of killing dogs? Is that okay suddenly? Yes. Yeah, oh, now you're okay with eating dogs as long as they're bred to be eaten, right? Yes. Your excuses are so pathetic. Are you the victim? No. No. Have a look around as animals getting their heads smashed in. Perhaps they will be the victim. You got it? No. Yeah. Well, at least we, we, um, no, we, we free them for a reason so then we can eat them, then we're not in 
endangering animals because they've been bred by... Oh, the animals are so grateful to be bred into this world of a factory farm and a slaughterhouse. In a prison, waiting for the death penalty. Oh, thank you so much, amazing humans. That was great. I really enjoyed my life. How lucky I am. They don't have brain cells to actually... Oh, they don't have brain cells. You sure you do? Yes, I do. But they don't have a brain cell. You do, though. She's going to regret this video. That's the problem with kids being on social media and getting videos these days. You're young and dumb and you'll live to regret this moment, I hope. But, I mean, this girl is, just because she's young, she says all the same ridiculous shit as the adults do, you know? At least she's just being honest with her thoughts in the moment. And, like, Andy doesn't hate this girl or isn't... he. He des desperately cares about these animals and he also cares a lot about these people. He wants them to change for themselves, to free themselves from this mental conditioning, to free themselves so they can understand and see things how they really are. And to, she's an animal lover, live in alignment with that, stop paying for slaughter. You know, she's try he's trying to help these people as well. It might come across as something else, you know, like he doesn't care about these people, but I can assure you that he very much does. And um, this is just his approach because as I agree, after a while, you realize that people, some people really need it like this. They really need to be mocked. Their, their, their stupidity needs to be mocked. I'm not saying this is always a good idea. Not everybody needs it, but this is what Andy's choosing after 10 years of a lot of activism, you know, and he's making this choice. He's not out of control here. This is a very controlled strategic um, way of doing things now people can uh, disagree or whatever but this dude's getting the views he's getting these opinions shared more than almost anybody and that says a lot uh, <laughs> Nikki says she thinks she is a scientist a lot of scientists even are very stupid on this topic Red locks too. What's up again? Is it wrong to assume that an activist goal is not to just change someone to, to go vegan, but turn them into an animal rights activist? It, it probably is the goal sometimes, you know, for me, sometimes it's the goal and sometimes it's not. It depends on how long I've got with this person, how open-minded they are, how the conversation is already progressing. Do I feel like this is the type of person who might be interested in activism? Should I split my time in that way or would it be better focus just focusing on helping them go vegan? Um, but absolutely, 100%, Ideally, every person we speak to would go vegan and get active. 100%. That would be the best thing for sure. Uh, and um, yeah, notice how none of the older people are stopping to talk. They do a lot. There's, there's a lot of very, very triggered guys walking past. And they got nothing. They say all the same shit. And they're adults acting like children. And they look very dumb the way they defend abusing animals. Here is a... Quote to chew on by MTC Crazy. The rule is quite simple. He who violated any rights declares magically that it does not exist. Therefore, it no longer does so for him. The, this, do you know what? It would almost be a great thing if that was true, if it was fair in that way. If you violate someone's rights to this extreme, then you will be punished in a similar way. Now, I don't want anyone to get hurt or anyone to die. I just wish everybody was vegan and then we could avoid this whole situation. Anyone would have to be here covered in blood, getting chicken bones thrown at him, etc., etc. But that's not the case. If you harm a human, yeah, you are in trouble. You'll be punished. Humans have rights. That's why. They have rights. They have interests that are protected by law. And if you violate that right, you will be in a lot of trouble. If anybody did to a human what everybody is okay with doing except for vegans to animals you'd be in jail for your whole life you would be deemed as such a a violent member of society and you would never see the light of day again imagine if you bred a human into existence you fattened them up you kept them in either a small cage which is the vast more than 95 percent of the animals a factory farmed in australia keep them in a small cage, like almost every single animal that people have ever eaten in their life, or even if you just give them a, a decent space for a while. And then in their infancy, 
after a couple of years maybe, then you kill them. You humanely kill them by electrocuting them or forcing them into a gas chamber, shackling them upside down and slashing their throat open. If you treated a human like that, you'd be in jail for the rest of your life. You treat an animal like that, you eat it and it's completely legal, normal, and everybody is fooling themselves into saying it's necessary despite hundreds of millions of people on earth who do not eat animal flesh. So, back to the quote. The rule is quite simple. He who violated any right declares magically that it does not exist. Therefore, it no longer does so for him. Imagine if that was the case. And these people who were so okay with violating their rights, the rights of these animals, if it was like, okay, so that's how you want to play life. You just violate anybody who's weaker than you. So anybody who's stronger than you can come and do the same to you. Animal holocaust over everybody vegan immediately is what would happen because nobody wants this to happen to them. But as long as they're not the victim, they don't give a shit. They're happy to do it. They get something out of it, a momentary taste sensation. And that is what is so fucked up in the world and what is so lacking. People don't have empathy. They don't care because they're speciesist, which is basically like they're racist. They see animals, they think you are worthless. You are nothing. You were bred for me. I own you and I can do whatever I want to you, including cutting your throat and eating your body. That is the level of speciesism. That is the level of discrimination they have. Taste valued more than you being a slave your entire life and then slaughtered. Fucking nuts. So nuts. Okay. Wow, I can't believe I can't say I'd happily feed the carnists to the lions in chat. What? In this chat, you can say it, bro. But don't do it because I don't want you in trouble. No more vegans in jail. Well, I can't believe I can't say let's take all the meat eaters and turn them into a human centipede in chat. Unless I put it in quotes. Fascinating. Okay, well, interesting, interesting goals there, bro. All right, moving on. Same people again. <laughs> he has so many videos and he's just sent me five of the same peeps, but anyway, who cares? It's all interesting. What's up here? Oh, my bad. Smashed in the head by sledgehammer. What's the difference if you're the victim with a sledgehammer or a bolt in the head? What is the difference, mate? It's a quick death. Smashed in the head by sledgehammer. What's the difference it's if you're a quick death? Well, no, it isn't a quick death, especially if you're one of the animals in the gas chambers, which is a very prolonged torturous suffering for minutes. And a lot of these bolt guns don't cause a quick death. I've seen animals need to be bolted in the head eight or nine times before they're effectively stunned. They keep standing up and moving around and like desperately trying to get out of this little box that they're stuck in. Nah, it's not always a quick death, bro. And even if it was a quick death, put a human in that situation. Quick death, bro, quick murder, it's okay now. Doesn't fucking matter, who cares? It, sure, less torture is better, but a lesser of e two evils is still evil and we shouldn't be looking for the right way to do the wrong thing. Cow hugging vegan. When I do street activism, I notice that with a lot of couples that when the women start looking at the images, the guys they're with try to move them along from the visuals. Yeah, because guys are very dumb, but smart enough to realize that women are in many ways more intelligent, especially emotional intelligence. And so they see the woman seeing slaughterhouse footage. They're like, oh shit, I don't want to have to stop eating meat. I want her to keep eating meat too, or shit's going to be weird. Let's go. We got to go, right? Man, we got to have that thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. These people are nuts. These people are nuts. Look at this guy covered in blood. Yeah, the blood from your victims, dude. Wouldn't be covered in blood if you weren't so obsessed with slaughtering all the time. Let's move on. All right, a bit of a longer one here. This kid is getting famous tonight. That's beautiful. Dude, little, little dude. It ain't, it ain't nothing personal, man. You are just representing the thoughts of almost every single Australian. And I respect you for at least engaging in the discussion, which is more than what most people would do. So respect to you. What you're saying is not something to respect. It's very stupid. But hey, I believe the same thing for the first 26 years of my life. And I never had a conversation like this with somebody. So hopefully it has impacted you in a positive way overall. Check his TikTok, says my wife. I don't know if I can 
check his TikTok without being logged into TikTok and all that. And I haven't done that in a very long time. Let's just watch a couple more. I think he's sent us some other ones. We'll see. But good idea. Animals in nature, right? Lions kill animals and they die. Are you a lion? Are you a lion? Way slower than the, the way we kill animals, okay? When we were cavemen, the way we would kill animals... Are you a caveman now? Yeah, but we should. Are you walking around a mall or are you a caveman? Or are you a lion? you got the supermarket down there with 20,000 plant options. Why are you claiming what a lion does in Africa, bro? Okay, my point is that the way we kill animals is more humane than we kill them as cavemen, with spears, with tools. Are you out there killing animals with spears and tools, are you? Wait, you're going into a supermarket, mate, and paying for factory farm prisoners to get their heads smashed in, chickens to suffer for six weeks to get their heads chopped off, very rare. 98% of the animals in your voice right now are coming from factory farms, mate. They're all coming out of slaughterhouses. Facts on facts on facts on facts. Yeah, the dude's like, you could see it kind of didn't make sense to him, I think, at a point. He was like, yeah, but at least we're not throwing spears at them. It's a quick death. And Andy's like, and why are we killing again? What's all this killing for? And he's been vegan 10 years. You can see the killing is unnecessary. Seymour Butts. <laughs> Have I ever been to Canada? I've been to Canada many times. Uh, many times. I've done some activism in Canada. done some speeches. Been to multiple slaughterhouses in that country. Um, and I lived in Canada for a while, actually. When I was 21. When I was 21. I lived in Canada. I lived on Big White. Um, snowboarding for a few months and then I lived in I went to a couple of places like Whistler and that but then I lived in Victoria Victoria on Vancouver Island for a few months and it was a wild time wild time I've got the craziest stories ever from that time like ever that you may have ever even heard alright let me see let's go with Nikki's idea here and see if we can find Oops. Don't go too far. Who knows what's there? All right. So I'm going to try what Nikki said. Let's see if we can find a few different conversations, shall we? What are you thinking so far of the type of activism Andy does? Do you think it's too extreme? Do you think it's a good idea? Share your thoughts, guys. So. TikTok.com at Save Poppy. All right. Let's try it. Tick tock slash. I'm not going to forget this browser because I can just go back. My lovely wife. And it's already set up in there and everything, you know. All right. Oh man, it's in Portuguese. Tartem uma conta. This ain't even the. This ain't even his. Nah, too complicated. Humans are superior. All right, guys, we're just going to go for a few more. Who cares? Who cares? All right, where were we at? Oh, not this again. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, we're on a new one here. Yeah. Hold up. Wait, is this new? Yeah, no, nah, he did that one last. Let's check this one. All right, might as well just go through this whole conversation with the dude. Let's see the enlightening process. Yo. Um, yeah, why not? Hold up, guys. Nikki's here to save the day as usual. You did a Big White season as well, L. That's mad. How good is Big White? I had the best time. Beautiful place. Yeah, best part of Canada, Victoria. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard it was... Oh, you got it going. Nice, my love. Um, it was beautiful sunny days. I was actually riding the kabuki cabs as a job. You know, the the bikes, the, it's like a pedicab. You're riding the bike and you've got a couple of people in the back. I used to work from like 9 p.m. till 3 p.m. Friday, Saturday night. And we would go around the clubs. We'd all be like blazing and doing whatever. And um, picking people up, taking them to the clubs. It was a mad party. We make sick money. I got so fit, like carrying, sometimes we'd be carrying two carriages, four people with just a typical push bike, couple of gears or whatever. 
And um, it was so much fun. All right, sweet. Let's see what we got here. There, you had to click there. I have to click here. Oh yeah, 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 cool. All right, let's see what we got here. 1.6 million. Boom, shall we check this one out? Hold up. All right, so let me just fix this up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I might check those comments out in a minute, but in the meantime. Cool. We in business here. We are led to believe that farms are happy places and even slaughterhouses aren't mentioned in these happy farm stories. Exactly. They always say, I treat my animals like they're my kids. Really? Well, call protective services because the way you treat your animals should actually put you in jail. That's what would happen if I was in charge. You'd all be in jail until you learn how to treat animals correctly. Okay, ready. So this is going to work with sound and everything. Let me know if you guys hear... It should, right? No. All right, let us know if you hear sound. That's crazy. Can you guys hear that? Sounds good. Whoa. That's badass. Yeah, so that's a, now you got a bit of an idea of um, the screams, you know, how it sounds. And look at her, like, she was shocked. She was very much impacted by the... Um, oh, it's a bit loud, is it? All right. Very much impacted by what she was seeing. Beautiful. This will give you guys a bit of a better idea of the sign. <laughs> Okay, here's one thing I will actually give a constructive criticism, just my opinion, take it or leave it, on, on something that Andy does sometimes. Let's turn the sound off for a second. Teens laughing at dairy cow they beheaded. So obviously we all know where he's coming from there. He's saying like, they, you beheaded him or her, well her in this case most likely, because you eat dairy. And I personally think that that actually can get lost on people a little bit. Thanks, I'll turn the video, I turn it down, let me know if I need to turn it down more. I think that if you, if you tell someone like, this is the cow that you beheaded, you, you, so you slaughter cows and you da da da. We all know what he means, but it's not exactly the, the most accurate way to say it. They didn't behead a cow. Most of these people have probably never slaughtered an animal even in their life, even though they've probably eaten hundreds or maybe thousands of animals. So um, if he's telling people, you beheaded the cow and they, I already turned it down on this thing, so it should be sweet. Okay, yeah, I'll try that as well. So if you're saying like you beheaded a cow, I think that that won't resonate as much as saying when you buy animal products or when you consume animal products, you are the reason why a cow is beheaded. It's a small thing, but it's more accurate and can land a bit harder. There's some power in what he's saying too. And like, we all get the point. But um, personally, I, I would just try to keep, stick to the facts as much as possible. And I highly doubt any of these people actually beheaded any cows in their time so what else we got here let's watch a little more and um yeah then we'll see how we're feeling <clears throat> um what we got where's the big views at how many followers has he got? 8,000 followers and his vids are cranking. I need to get on TikTok. This dude's getting mad views. All right, this one's got to be... 
So amazingly, oh, amazing non-vegans laughing hysterically at baby pigs burning to death. Let's have a look. Maddening to be an activist and seeing people just laugh like that. It's enough to drive a sane and strong person very crazy. Trust me on that. Ooh, this looks interesting. <laughs> Satan inside, peace. Thanks for joining the stream. Hopefully see you again. Have a good sleep, my friend. Breathe deep, relax. Pretend the world is vegan. Maybe it'll help. Um, ben, could he maybe have done it for clickbait to bring more views? Yeah, very possibly, very possibly. And maybe it's a really good strategy. So, you know, I'm not saying I'm 100%. You should definitely do this, Andy. Just an observation, I think. I, that's what I would do is all I'm saying, you know. This dude's out there doing it, so. But yeah, it just seems a little wrong to me to say that you are beheading animals when they probably never. They're just going to be like, I'm not. And if you said, though, you are consuming animal products, that is the cause of beheading animals, they'll be like, I am. So, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Philippe just ate vegan ice cream. <laughs> Clap emojis for Philip. We had vegan emojis. We had vegan emojis today. We had vegan ice cream today. Um, we were just walking around in our town, had some stuff to do. And then we saw this sign for vegan ice cream in a very not vegan friendly town overall. So that was nice. We had passion fruit ice cream and strawberry ice cream. We wanted chocolate. We were hoping there'd be chocolate. They didn't have it. So then I think Nikki suggested to her, you should get chocolate and we'll be back. Um, but that's, that's great, bro. What flavor did you get? Did anyone else eat any delicious vegan food today? Please tell us so that we can all be jealous of you. Hmm. Lady in shock. That's what I like to hear. That's good. It's very good to see how moved people are. They're like, oh my God. Yeah. She has big plans for chalk flavor. That's what she said. Hell yeah. I just told them they're paying a hitman. That is exactly the case. Exactly right, man. Dude, no injustice lasts forever. We've been streaming an hour 20. You're late, but I will be honest with you. A solid chunk of this stream has been technical difficulties. So maybe you came at just the right time, bro. I'm gonna fill you in and anybody else who maybe came late. We are watching one of my favorite activists and a good friend of mine. His name is Andy Faulkner. He's from Sydney. He has evolved his activism over the years and got to this point where he's at now where he's regularly getting viral videos. He's reaching thousands of people every time he's out there with the screams, loud screams from the slaughterhouse, plus a bunch of signs explaining what the hell people are listening to. And then if anybody wants to engage in a conversation about it and challenge him and his vegan ways. He turns the screams off. He records a video. He gets a million views here and there. He's got over 70 million already. So he's doing it so well. And I, I really would love to see this adopted more around the world. Philip, mint, chip, cherry, pretzel swells. Damn, bro. Damn. So far, you are winning. That sounds so good. Why can't I have that right now? You're talking about them crispy things with like the gooey kind of chocolate or whatever inside. Mint, chip, cherry, pretzel swells. Mate, see, vegans are eating, bro. Sounds awesome. Is he on YouTube at all? I don't know if he's on YouTube, actually. Uh, I don't think he is. He's on TikTok. He, he smashes it out on TikTok and Instagram. His Instagram is at save poppy, P-O-P-P-Y. And um, 
Yeah, he should get on YouTube for sure. I will encourage that. I will encourage that big time. All right. Let me see. Let me know if you guys see a, a title that sounds interesting. You can actually can't see the whole screen like I can. Let me fix that a little bit. There we go. For, you, for TikTok, did you hear there is talk in the US about banning it? Since the US is worried about the Chinese using TikTok to steal information. Yeah, I did hear about that actually. Uh, it's very fascinating. It, yeah, I mean, that's a whole nother conversation. Social media is spying on us. All right, here we go. Let's check this one. friend did not agree with what she did. Gross. Gross behavior. Disgusting. There's nothing less attractive than someone who supports animal abuse, or at least it's right, right up there. Gross. What is wrong with these people? Not only defending animal abuse, but then to see... Like, I'm attracted to women, obviously. To see women putting flesh of murdered animals into their mouth and chewing, and it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Like, oh, God, it's gross. So gross. And when I say I'm attracted to women, I'm attracted to one woman, my wife, just to be clear. But you know what I mean. It's repulsive to see people eating animals. And I wasn't like that at first, actually. That's what I'm saying. It's an evolution. At first, I was just like, eh, it's, it's not really that gross. I used to eat meat. Even a few months ago, I was eating meat. That's how I was first thinking. Like, whatever. Meat doesn't gross me out. The smell of meat d didn't gross me out. But I've got to a point now where I'm just like, that is so disgusting to have to smell this. Like, if there's a barbecue going on with a neighbor or something, which is kind of common in Brazil, and we smell, <laughs> and we smell flesh, and then we think of the animal and everything just changes in your perspective of what you are smelling and it's fucking gross. Like I'll explain it like this. If you had a chocolate cupcake and you're eating it and it was delicious, you're like yum. But then you found out that someone had put some of their shit in the cupcake. It tastes the same. It smells the same. But now that taste and smell is disgusting to you. And that is basically what happened to me with corpses. Now I will eat a double chocolate cookie? How dare you, Philippe? I'm proud of you and I'm very jealous of you. You go for it, son. I would do the same if I had a double chocolate chip. Double chocolate vegan cookie. God damn. Kerry is eating lentil burger with lettuce, lemon mayo and jalapenos. God damn. That sounds so good. I want that. Jalapenos, it's been too long. No injustice lasts forever. James, work out for me. I'm eating fries and not making vegans look good. Homie, if I could work out for you and transfer my gains to you, I would do it. But I can't. So you're going to have to get to the gym three hours a week and lift weights and represent, bro. And then you can eat fries and not feel as bad. Or another tip. You can eat fries, but eat air fried fries, you know, so there's no oil cutting down the calories massively, cutting down the fats massively. So you can still eat fries. That's what we do all the time. And it's crispy and you don't even really notice the difference. Um, okay, red locks too. So I can understand smelling meat and everything, but can vegans smell dairy or eggs to the same degree? Like does it gross you out even if it's just an ingredient? It grosses me out because I think dairy, I think of the rape, I think of the screaming mothers for their babies, I think of the male calves getting slaughtered, I think of female animals being caged and used as milk machines, I think of them being forcibly impregnated. Like, yeah, I am fucking disgusted by it. I cannot, I cannot explain enough how disgusting, how filthy, how immoral how cruel how violent how sadistic this behavior is like that's how i feel about it um now even if it's just a little trace amount in the food for example like 
there have been times in the past where I ordered noodles, I remember. I ordered, like, I was at a, at a like, kind of like a fast, not a fast food, it was like a fast food restaurant, sort of. I don't know if fast food's the right way, but, you know, you get to a rest, you get to this, like, thing. I guess it's a restaurant. No, there's nowhere to sit. So, whatever it is. They're making food, you're buying food. They make noodles for me, they made veggies, and they made tofu. And I said no egg, and then there was egg. So... At that time, I was like, well, there's a lot of food here, you know, like, I'm just going to pick the egg out. And um, yeah, sometimes I might do something like that if it's easy to get out. If it's just like all little bits of eggs through the shit, I'm just like, nah, you know, I'm not eating that. But if I can get it out, then the fact that it's touched my food, no, I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to, you know, go to the trouble. Although sometimes I might just to make a point, I said no egg and that shit's important. So here is, listen next time and now you've got to make the food again. But um, yeah, in terms of just like the disgust side of things, not so much necessarily. Well, actually, yes, but you know what I mean. I can't explain it. Already vegan, would you consider doing a stream on the topic of antinatalism? Say with someone like Lawrence Anton, if you know of him. I don't know of him. Um, I would totally, I'll, I'll talk about anything on here, guys. You know, I think conversation is good. I, I'm pretty much open to whatever. Um, so, and I find that an interesting topic, actually. I really don't know much about, I really don't much about, um, antinatalism. We've done a little bit of research, me and Nikki. <laughs> but, uh, that sounds like an interesting idea. Yeah, maybe I'll do that sometime. And what's that dude's name? I'll look at the name. Actually, where did it go? Lawrence Anton. I'll write that down somewhere. Maybe, maybe. If so, I'll let you know. <clears throat> um, no injustice last forever. You'll buy my gains off you. Tip, bro, you never know. It could happen. I can't promise anything because me sharing these gains with you probably isn't going to work. But look, anything can happen with, with a tip, you know. Uh, anything's possible. Maybe, just maybe, something will come of it. Maybe you'll tip and you'll be like, I tipped. I already paid for the gains. Now I'm ready to go to the gym. I've been vested. Try, see what happens. Uh, Carrie, just get a physically hard job then you don't need the gym. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Although if you're trying to get big and strong, like a lot of, a lot of uh, physical labor jobs are more like an endurance sort of training, digging and demolishing and building. And you're moving around a lot, which is good. Probably keep your weight down and burn a lot of calories. But um. If you're actually trying to get big or strong, it's a particular type of training, particular type of rep ranges, particular percentage of maximum weight you can lift, uh, particular speed, all that kind of thing. So it's, it's much easier. And also to make sure you're getting all your muscles, targeting everything to go to a gym. Gyms are so good. Like it's very hard to get motivated at home and do workers at home. But if you can just motiv motivate yourself to go to the gym three times a week, you're going to get really good results. Um, I should do a live, oh, I should do a workout live stream sometime like Vegan Gains does. Yeah, we could maybe do that sometime. I'm not very impressive to watch working out, I don't think. Um, because I take it super slow and super easy because I have been badly suffering chronic pain for years, um, especially the last few years. And I'm a little bit terrified actually. And it was about, I haven't really been in the gym for the last almost two months probably two months because um, the last time I was there, I injured myself. Like just doing what I always do, it's, it just flared up my pain. And um, yeah, so it scared the shit out of me because I was had a really good run before that and I fucking am so tired of being in pain. But um, I'm pretty much ready to get back in there. So yeah, it's possible. But yeah, it's I ain't lifting 400 pounds like vegan gains is. That dude is a beast. I recently changed to fries. I'm buying, to, oh yeah, 20% fuel calories, half a sodium, no saturated fat at all, and cheaper, win all around. Sounds good, but you're still probably better to just chop potatoes and chuck them in the air fryer. And if you don't have an air fryer, I highly recommend, because air fryers are amazing for potatoes and amazing for tofu and tempeh and soy meat. So, and then you don't need oil at all. Lawrence is goaded. All right, I never heard of the dude, but I'm intrigued. I'm gonna check it out. All right, um, 
I'm going to smash today so I can get back into it. Yeah, Kerry's right. Eat, well, not nah, boiled plain potatoes. They're cheaper and delicious and they're filling, but why not just fry them in Ephra? Omar has been running 10Ks, 30 miles for the week. Oh, you just ran 10Ks, you run 30, for the, 30 miles for the week. That's huge, bro. Whoa. Vegans are out there doing their thing. What is NILF true? NILF. Natos, I'd like to... F what is that? Processed food isn't good for you. Um, actually, I would probably dispute that, that there are processed foods that can lead to good health outcomes. And I don't think... I think this whole processed food is bad thing is not exactly the way we should be thinking about it. Um... Nikki just made sushi rice for you to roll with TVP. Yes, baby, you legend. Feel free to bring that up here anytime and I will gladly roll us up some sushi while I'm doing this. I'm so hungry. <clears throat> Lawrence just put out a video about not wanting to bring up the red button. Not wanting to talk about the red button. Yeah, it's kind of a pointless conversation, the red button. And don't get me started because I keep getting in trouble by my wife for talking about the red button. But it's tempting to talk about the red button, isn't it? We all know it's tempting. I'm here for veganism, not the suicidal death cult. Whoa, whoa. Now I'm going to really want to talk about the red button, Kerry. How, how could you? Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to bite my tongue even though I really want to respond to that. I'm not going to. I said I wouldn't. Lawrence Anton is a friend of David Rams. Oh, okay. So he's a, he's a vegan homie. I thought he might be like just some dude in the anti natalist world. He's friends with David. Cool. Yeah. Would be interesting. Well, Lawrence is hella based and awesome guy. You guys sound like you might be anti natalist as well. Interesting. I, I get the basic argument for it. And yeah, it's, it's pretty, look, me and Nikki will not be having kids. That is a certainty. Um, and there's many reasons why we don't want kids. And we've actually made a 20 minute video about it. And fuck, I love this video. It's so good. But, um, you know, we'll share it when we get around to it. But yeah, the thing is like, aside from the fact of, do we want to actually raise children? Are there other things maybe we'd prefer to do? Does this sound fun to us? Does this sound, you know, maybe there's other things we, we would prefer to dedicate our time to. Maybe we just don't want to have kids around for our, our whole life. And, for the first 18 years kind of be looking, maybe we've got other shit we want to do. That's basically facts. But on top of that, that aside, even if you wanted to bring kids into the world, should you bring kids into this world at this time? It's a crazy world. There is so much chaos. There is so much violence and so much unfairness. You know, it's a dangerous world. It's fucking dangerous. Shit is happening all the time. Um, yeah. And I just, you could definitely make, I think there's an argument to be made of these beings do not choose to be born. You know, we're making, we're forcing a choice on them so that they have to exist. And that kind of is questionable. So, <laughs> MTC Crazy, your veganism and spirituality speech is quite powerful because it's heart, mind, gut. You have to care enough to take in the info and then act. And I think you cannot use full potential of your heart as long as you eat meat. Thanks, man. I never, I very rarely hear anybody mention that speech to me. So I'm really glad to hear that that one stuck out for you. And I think it is a really good speech. It was, it was so from the heart because I literally didn't know that I was going to be doing that topic until right before the speech. I thought it was a different speech. And then they're like, no, this is on veganism and spirituality. No, I found out the day before. And I was like, what? That's what it said in the email you guys sent? I was in the USA touring, doing speeches. I was like, fuck, I didn't know that. But um, it's very easy to, to, for me at least, to discuss the link between spirituality and veganism. Uh, yeah, and you know, you said that quote, or you said, sorry, that you think you cannot use the full potential of your heart as long as you eat meat. A quote I haven't thought about for a long time, but that always resonated with me is the consumption of meat extinguishes the seed of great compassion. And that's another thing, actually. I think it would be great. Like, that's why I love Challenge 22 as an example. Or 
Veganuary. Some people say things like, you shouldn't just tell people to go vegan for a month. But if you go vegan, if you go vegan, like if you stop eating animals, you act like a vegan for a month, where you get coached for 22 days. In that 22 days of not eating animal products, you can think about things differently. If you're watching slaughter footage, for example, a vegan's talking to you, you're hearing them, but you're thinking, yeah, but I'm hungry already. Like I need to eat something. And there's going to be a whole world I'll have to discover that I don't know if I have the time for or the energy for, or if I'm going to enjoy it. And I just don't know if I can make that commitment. You know, it feels like a big commitment. And I understand that. But if you can get someone to examine their beliefs and think about these things and see slaughterhouse footage while they're in a phase, even if it's a short phase of acting like a vegan, I think they can be like, whoa, this is, I'm enjoying this food. I feel good. I didn't die after a week. This is easier than I expected perhaps. And um, now that I think about it and now that I'm not eating meat and don't have meat in my body, what the hell are we doing? What the hell are we doing? So yeah, I agree with you. Uh, All right. Oh dear, oh dear. The anti-nailist chat is chatting. Um, Philip works out every day. Respect, bro. Good stuff. We need strong, healthy vegans out there. We need all kinds of vegans out there, but I really think strong, healthy vegans should be the goal for everybody, showing how healthy we can be. James, you stream demon. I'm a fucking stream demon. Boom. Respect. Thank you. Loving your consistency, bro. Homie, as you can probably see, I'm extremely passionate about this topic. I've gone through a lot of shit in the last few years. I haven't had a computer for a long time. I've been going through it, man. And um, I haven't been able to do much, you know? Like I've been at, barely been able to exist. And I've been dying this whole time. And this whole time, what I have been doing is studying animal rights theory and studying the people I respect in debates and thinking about this constantly and writing raps and doing all this. So I'm so happy to finally be... Uh, I've also never, in the 10 years I've been an activist, been in one spot for a year even. Uh, actually, my last house in Bali, but that was a very... It was not not... The wife I was always dropping out, I couldn't get shit done there. And I didn't have an office or anything. Like, here I got an office. I'm comfortable. I got a setup. Got a computer that can live stream. You know? Oh, and that's why I'm just like, finally, I can express myself. Hello, everyone. Boom. End the animal holocaust. End animal slavery. Doing what I has been like burning inside of me. It's been really good to get it out in the raps, though. And um, my raps, I think, are going to be more powerful than anything i ever done. When I finally learn how to record them properly and get the right beats for them and stuff. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to you guys hearing all that. What was my injury? My injury, chronic pain, chronic pain. Um, I don't want to go in a massive thing about it. There's a 30 minute video about it. It's kind of long, but I think it's pretty interesting. Um, it's called why I had to disappear from social media. You know, when I was going through this, I had, I promised my family I was never going to be an activist again because like I was fucking felt like I was dying. You know, I thought I was dying. I didn't know how long I was going to live. Like I was so scared. I was fucking taught. I felt like I was being tortured constantly for months and months and months. Um, I was in a lot of pain. And after reading some books on it, it's very possible that a lot of that pain was internalized rage and stress. That's probably what it was. I'm still in pain now. Like I'm in pain a lot of the time, but um, it's, it's fucking 95% less severe than it was. Sometimes it's like kind of pretty bad still, but way less often, way less often and way less severe. Like at that point, it was just constant torture all the time. Didn't get a break. Nowhere was comfortable. In bed, wrapped up in blankets, blazing weed. I was always horribly uncomfortable. And now I'm semi-uncomfortable most of the time and comfortable some of the time. And sometimes pretty uncomfortable but hey it's progress so my injury it was like very possibly psychosomatic mental mental health related i had a lot of anger inside of me i had had a lot going on i'd been fucking so much shit went down with me like it was pretty frustrating and um, it was at a time where i was like in my most passionate for animals trying to do the most good being criticized more than ever being put in the news a lot about how i was like this bad person 
for um, they did news stories on me saying that this puppies that we rescued that I climbed like 20, 30 meters in this dirty under a road sewer. Like this gutter was full of trash and I'm in this tiny tunnel crawling through a pile of trash. Oh yeah, true. Thanks, Nikki. Climbing through a pile like thick trash and filth because I knew that there was puppies that this mum had abandoned under there that were alive. As I'm carrying two or three out, I think three, one of them died in that moment. And then we, we had two. We did everything we could under vet care. And then one of the puppies died. One of them we passed on to um, live a great life with these amazing people. And then, the, then vegans, because i got a lot of vegan haters, they, as well as Daily Mail and some other news outlets, were like, James Aspie killed a puppy. Fucking idiots. And um, then on top of that, later, it was all this other bullshit. I don't know what I'm going to right now, but like, it was very stressful. It was very stressful. And we're like, just doing our best for animals as always. So, um, yeah, that's kind of crazy. All right, let me fix this a little bit. Hello? Boom. And you can get my stress lines, see the bullshit I've been through. Um, what's the red button? Don't know. <laughs> Fuck, everyone is fucking talking about red buttons here. Stop that shit. Um, Omar, please do enjoy your life as much as possible. However, don't procreate and force somebody else into existence. That's all because they will suffer a lot. They might be happy and they might not. Yeah, it's like, would I wish to have never existed? Absolutely not. I'm so glad to exist, even with the challenges and the suffering. And I know I've got it very good compared to so many. Um, but still, it's a pretty big decision to make for somebody else. And I certainly wouldn't make it. I, I've already made one. I ain't doing it. But I certainly wouldn't make it lightly if I was somebody else who really did want to have kids. I would. Yeah, there's a lot to think about. Make Seveshi a Mexican dish. Use TVP as shredded fish replacement and add shredded jalapenos, onions, cilantro, tomatoes, lime juice, hot sauce, and add to a tostada. Bro, you are speaking my language. That is like my jam, what you just said there. Tostadas, all that. Beautiful. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? I'm sorry, I didn't realize the chat was kind of smashing ahead. Let me smash through this. Talk to you, ask yourself about antinatalism. Yeah, why is that? Um, is he all about it or is he against it or what? Rachel, thank you so much for the feedback that, and I'm very happy to hear you're loving the streams. I'm really loving them too. I'm loving discussing this stuff and I'm um, sharing this with you guys and I hope you all feel, I want everybody to feel welcome here, everybody. Vegans, non-vegans, you know, I might talk shit about non-vegans, but I'm really, I'm trying to educate. I'm trying to help them realize how they look to me. I'm being very honest. Just honest, that's, that's what I got for you, is my honesty, okay, of the situation. My understanding after 10 years of being a vegan and being an activist since day one, doing my vow of silence, I'm sharing the most honest perspective I can get away with on YouTube. So I'm really glad you're enjoying. Alison, I'm pre I appreciate that. You're glad I'm still with you. I'm super glad to, you know, I would never have... I sometimes would kind of fantasize about doing fucked up shit and, but I don't think I ever would have done it. Like there was, there was many, I was at a point where I was begging this doctor, this pain doctor in Indonesia. I was like, please, please put me unconscious for like six hours. One, I'll get a rest. I'll be able to sleep. Like, please, I'll be out of pain for six hours. And then I'll hire a couple of masseuse, like strong deep tissue massage, and they will come and work on my body and maybe it will help. Cause like I used to get the craziest massages, crazy shit. I've got some crazy videos. I'll have to show you sometime. But um, it's in my video on YouTube, the 30 minute video where I had to disappear from, from social media. And um, you know, I couldn't handle it. Like I had to take a whole bunch of opioids and all kinds of shit and try to just like get through a massage the kind of massage that I felt I needed to deal with the severity of the tension in my body. I was so tense. But my dude's like, this feels like steel cables. You feel like you got concrete in you. Your muscles feel like concrete. I was like, 
so stressed. Um, he's not too keen on it. Interesting. He's not too keen on antinatalism. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's... If that dude... If Isaac is against it, I'm sure he's got his reasons and I'm sure he makes some very good arguments. So I'd be really curious. Maybe Isaac and the dude that you were talking about, Lawrence, might want to debate it on my stream. I don't know. My voice has been missed and you're glad to have it back. Thank you, Regenerative Designs Australia. I appreciate that. I'm so glad to be back. Would I be open to reacting to Michael Saylor explaining Bitcoin? I know it's not about veganism, but I feel it's important for us to understand. If not, no worries. Thank you for all you do. Eternal Beat. I would be open to doing that. Yeah, let's do it. But not right now. But sure, sometime... There's a, lot of, there's a lot of that kind of stuff I want to talk about. I want vegans to be rich. I want vegans to know how to make money, how to invest, what, what crypto is. I'm not saying we should all invest in crypto, but it's just an option. I want people to know their options. I want vegans to understand how to make money because I think more money means more power, means more action, means more results. So um, yeah, I, will, I, will, I already have a couple of ideas for people I'd like to get on the stream to discuss financial things and... We could maybe start it off like that. But yeah, I would be totally open to it. I think it's a really good idea, actually. Thanks for the suggestion. At the same time, you were being lynched by the vegan mob. A good vegan friend canceled me too because I wouldn't agree with him that you were calling it an animal holocaust. Oh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't agree that it was wrong I was calling it an animal holocaust. Mate, I, I've lost a lot of followers and a lot of support and over this over there's been other things too but one big thing and i was really disappointed because some of the activists that i looked up to the most i still do they're still my, some of my favorite activists but would disagree with me on this topic don't call it rape don't call it slavery don't call it a holocaust and i completely disagree with that i think that is actually very wrong to not i'm not saying everybody should do it you know or has to do it but I think it's very wrong to tell somebody not to do it. I don't think that's the approach at all. And, you know, some of the people that I most respect, they're really good at what they do, exposing horrific things. But I think I'm better at communicating. You know, I think, I think I'm better at that. I think I've got more experience with it. I think they'd agree. They used to say that to me. That's why, you know, they, they I don't want to go into details of who I'm talking about exactly right now, but they had me on like helping them and being the communicator of certain things and saying the message how I wanted to say it. Like, you do it how you do it. You're getting great results. Do you? And then they were later like, can you not say that? And then, you know, I, I respect it at the time. But then later, when I'm really going hard on it, when I had like a epiphany, fuck. People look up to me for animal rights advice and I'm not saying it's a holocaust. I'm not saying it's slavery. Like I was occasionally, but... I realized, no, this needs to be a shift. I need to make this a very focal point because I think this is what's missing in a big way. Um, this very clear terminology that everybody can relate to that is very meaningful that everybody's already against. So you're already against all these things. Why are you doing it to animals? And um, yeah, I, I'm, I appreciate you standing strong for what you believed in that situation, even though you lost a friend over it. I lost a lot too, bro. But, um, and look, another thing I want to say is like, do you really have to lose a friend over that? You know, I'm not gonna throw people away, especially vegans, especially activists, because of a differing opinion on this topic. To those people who disagree, I'm like, okay, you do you then. You want to go that way? I, I fucking hope you have the best results ever. But the difference is I can have that understanding of you disagree and I understand why you disagree. Cool, go do you. But they don't show the same respect for the opinion of we should say it like this. They're like, you, you are doing things wrong. And to the point that I'm going to cancel you for it. I'm going to unfollow you. I'm going to talk shit about you and what you're doing. And I think that's actually a really bad thing to do. You don't see me talking shit about activists now or ever. I fucking respect them all. There's so many activists that have like thrown me away in their books and think of me as a shit person. And I'm still like, yo, can I help you with this? Great job with that. You want to come on the stream sometime? I don't give a shit because it's not about fucking if they like me. I, if I think they're doing a good job for animals, I want them to be known. I want their work to be popular. So, you know, 
That's just something. Um, all right, all right. Let me try to catch up. Check out RV convinces anti-natalist James Warren to become a natalist in under 10 minutes. What a gangster. RV, bro. Don't fuck with RV. That's one lesson for everybody in the world. Um, interesting. Cool, I might check that out sometime. Isaac and Lawrence debate would be crazy. Maybe we can make it happen. Agreed. Alison wants to be rich to help animals. For sure. Anybody who doesn't, what are you talking about? More money, more everything good that we can pump into the vegan movement. It'd be so good. Um, blockchain is still dev. They get more upset at the terminology than the actual suffering. They want to be politically correct. It's called using words accurately. Yeah, Alison. I... I wrote a post once saying something like, because I was in the news, if you look up James Aspie Holocaust, you will see so many articles about me using this word and defending it and then doubling down on my defense of it. Because this isn't just a random thing <clears throat> that I started doing all of a sudden <clears throat> for no reason. This was after years of being an activist, advocating every single day and thinking about this more than most people. You know, I've got people approaching me. Like a lot of people go out on the street to get approached and talk about veganism. My DMs are full of people. My comment sections are full of people. I don't need to go far at all to have this discussion. I've had it so many times. And I, for a long time, I realized there's two crowds here. And I've been accused before of doing the wrong thing by calling it slavery and a holocaust and rape and murder, etc. Mainly, mainly not so much murder, actually. But, um... Yeah, so when, when I realized there was this differing of opinion, I took my time with it. I didn't want to upset people and people were saying I was doing the wrong thing. I took my time very much. I read books. I read um, Eternal Treblinka multiple times, which is the comparison between the animal holocaust and the holocaust that happened in work. And OBS, stop working. It's back. But you wouldn't say the same thing. <laughs> oh my God. Who's Jasper? Yeah, bro, I read books. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just telling you a story. Don't be jealous that I read books, bro. But anyway, yeah, 35 viewers, bro. I'm talking to the homies. What's wrong with that? That's mad. Respect to every other 34 people here. Jasper, you need to settle down, bro. You've got bad vibes. Come in here with some positive shit. Um, anyway, so when I realized that there was this divide, I took my time with how, you know, I still said it sometimes because I thought it was important, but I took my time with how hard I went on it and um, how like serious I was about saying it. I was a bit unsure for a long time. Then I made my decision. I was like, well, now that I've made my decision, I'm going to be saying this a lot because this has been missing from my activism. And now I realize I probably should have been saying it like this all along. Or maybe not. But the point is I got to a point where it needed to be said. You missed what I said, but then I think you understood what I said, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah. Anyway, it's been intense. Um, I don't know. I don't remember how I got onto that topic. But, oh, and then I said, thank you, I just remembered. I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Alison, yeah, yeah, all right, I, I got distracted. I um, did a tweet once and I said, I hope the people, and I'm including vegans here, I hope the people that are criticizing me and angry at me for calling the animal holocaust a holocaust I hope those people are at least as mad about the pigs in gas chambers. And I know a lot of them aren't. I got, saw so many people who I've never seen ever comment on anything I've ever done. Like, good work, James. Yes, I agree. Yes, animal rights. I'm in favor of that too. Yes, end the slaughter. Never seen them do anything except criticize on this topic. Who are you? You know, why are you talking about this when you never talk about animal rights and all of a sudden you've got something to criticize? You don't seem like you're angry at much except for this that's how i saw a lot of people i know a lot of people were like angry about it all but like mate if you're gonna if you're so mad about a word you should be ten thousand times more mad about the action go do something about that don't bother me with your shit your channel is dead as fuck it is dead it's kind of dead bro you know but that's because i haven't uploaded anything for probably like i've, I've uploaded about four or five videos over the last three years and um, I've just started doing lives less than a week ago. You fucking hater. So yeah, bro, it ain't that dead. You're here. Welcome. I hope you feel welcome, bro. I actually am. I'm glad you're here. And I can tell you eat corpses. 
Right? Am I right? Let me know. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Jasper's a bully. Jasper's got bad vibes and people like that, they, they got problems in life, but... Anyway, Jasper, we're here to fix you, bro. So tell us what's the problem. Like, let's talk about it. Go deep. Think about it, bro. What happened to you? Well, we're here for you, bros. The absence of pain is good, even if that good is not enjoyed by anyone. The absence of pleasure is not bad unless someone is deprived of it. Bro, that's deep. I'm going to have to think more about that. Uh, non-vegans cannot ignore us that is facts on facts and good that's how we want it <clears throat> now nah, let's not hassle jasper guys everybody put a love heart for jasper i'm gonna do one this is for you jasper oops i did 100 that love heart is for you i'm gonna do one more for you bro there you go homie yes he needs a hug give him a virtual hug everybody oh jasper goes out on multiple accounts and tells people their channels are dead he's only been doing it for two years for me He's coping hard. See, I'm telling you, this. Come on. We can see. We can see, Jasper. We can see right through your shit. Yeah, Rachel, love heart for Jasper. Kill them with kindness. All right. I think I'm going to save more Andy videos for. That's a really good question, Ben. I think I'm going to save more Andy videos for um, when Andy can join us next time. This didn't work out so well. Ben Rodriguez asks, who do you think is doing the best job with activism right now? England activists, Australian, Canadian, US. Well, I don't think anybody is doing a better job right... No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to give it a tie. I'm going to give a tie. I'm going to give the tie to Farm Transparency Project. Chris Delforce and his team, they have been relentless in their banned gas chambers campaign in Australia. They have... Um, been, been making some progress. It's very hard to make progress because they just shut the doors on them and they don't want to hear them out. And then they go to a meeting with like, I don't know who it was exactly, but people in charge of things in our country, you know? Um, and they go to, to talk about the footage that they've collected in all the slaughterhouses all over Australia. Hey, we want to talk about the gas chambers you guys have? Yes, like the ones used in Nazi Germany. Yeah, we want to talk about those. Um, this is the footage we get. As you can see, you probably never ever witnessed torture quite like it, but look at these animals being tortured to death. Listen to their screams. So they go there to show them this, and then two of, I believe these are the numbers, two out of three of the people instantly just walked out and said, we're not watching that. Well, you pay for it, and you accept it, and it's legal in this country, and you won't even look at it, and you're in charge of this shit? Fuck you. Fucking disgusting. Um... You went into your car and blazed a joint for half an hour, and yeah, we're still rolling, bruh. We're still rolling. If anyone, if anybody wants to get me high, you can do that for four twenty. You can tip four twenty, and I will get blazed with you, channel three. So feel free. The last two streams I've done, someone tipped four twenty, and I blazed. And I tell you, it was. A highlight of my life to for the first time be tipped for blazing it was amazing now um all right so <clears throat> hang on ah oh, this is good shit coming here i got a lot of things to respond to what do you, who do you think is doing the best job farm transparency project if i had a million bucks i'd give like to donate i'd give them half of it maybe more maybe even 60 70 percent and then I give the rest to Joey Carbstrong and all his crew so that they could, like they're having such an impact. They're out there. They, uh, he just released Pignorant and he is getting a lot of numbers watching this. He's getting a lot of people interested. He's on the streets talking about it as well. Didn't just put out a documentary. He put out a documentary and then he's on the streets doing protests all over the place, slaughterhouses, um, going into the, the pilgrims who uh, who like basically own the slaughterhouses, I believe, or are selling it at least, selling the products after the products, the dead bodies, chunks of corpses, after, and they're fucking so good. And um, I would love to see them, like, they they've got a campaign right now. You can actually donate to it. Um, I guess if you write Joey Carbstrong Pignorant Donation Fundraiser, 
GoFundMe maybe it is. I, I can't remember. But um, man, I would love to see them just be able to take this opportunity and run with it as far as possible. Because it's an opportunity right now. It's a hot topic. Pignorant has just been released. It's on Amazon Prime. It's just been released on some other platform that I have never heard of and can't remember the name. But it's available in Australia now. It's available in Canada now. And um, mate, I just think that they're fucking doing so good. I'm so proud of like Joey, man. What a gangster, bro. He has done so much good shit. Like, fuck. That guy does as all the good things. Um, so him and his crew, you know, I think they're doing they're doing the best as far as I can see. And like, there's there's a lot of good stuff all everywhere. I could say a bunch of other cool people doing awesome stuff, but I want to stick with them as top two. I love how you take your time with thinking about things. I can really love. Thanks, Alison. I love when people. You know, when people are like, hey, you do this thing, you know, and you're like, oh, really? I didn't know I did that. Thanks for that observation. And then you can kind of have a bit more insight into some things that you don't really know about yourself because you're just living. Um, Chris had a meeting with agricultural minister in Victoria. That's it. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, you know, that's, that's who you need to talk to about this shit. They walk out of the meeting. Dummies. That should be fucking illegal, bro. Like the whole shit situation should be illegal, but they should be forced to see what is happening. Like, I bet, I, I wonder if they even have seen the gas chambers. Jasper asks, do you think if you took another vow of silence, your live streams would attract more viewers? Hmm, probably not because they'd probably be pretty boring of me sitting and not really being able to talk much. Uh, but who knows, bro? You know, 35 is, isn't that hard to beat. So actually, maybe, maybe I would, if I said vow of silence stream, Maybe just the novelty of the interest would get people here. What do you think, Jasper? You tell us everything. Tell us what's on your mind, bro. Um, all right, 420, guilty pleasure. I don't feel guilty at all about that shit. It's just a pleasure, absolute pleasure. We The Free in the UK. Yep, they're doing great stuff as well. I love We The Free. Um, vices are not crimes in factory farming hell yeah in factory farming and all that shit Christspiracy okay let's talk about Christspiracy they are also doing a phenomenal job this documentary made by Kip Anderson and um, Cameron Waters I think is his name Kip has made Cowspiracy he's made What the Health and now he's made Christ Spiracy. I think he's, they're the two other ones that he's made and maybe there's no more. Christ Spiracy, I think, is going to be the biggest. It's going to be, I hope, I hope, I can foresee this possibility that it's going to get a worldwide conversation happening about religion. And it's not the conversation necessarily, it's not the, it's a, it's a very important conversation, right? To have religious people question their defense of animal slaughter and sacrifice by using their religious texts, which all say different shit, by the way. They all think they've got the word of God, but the word of God is different in everybody's book. So silly, in my opinion. But um, this documentary has so much potential. It's so jam-packed full of knowledge. And I just, I, it's got all the pieces to be super, super viral. So... It's, it's going to happen, I think, and I'm stoked about it. Joey's collaborating with We The Free, showing three minutes of his documentary, then doing outreach. Boom. Awesome. Picking a website to donate. Cool. Tubi is the new platform. Thanks, Legends. It's so great to have you guys here and just filling in all my blanks. I'm loving it. Joey and Tati. Tati on? Oh, you mean Tarion. Yes, exactly. I shouldn't forget to say Tarion because I'm sure she is been right next to Joey the entire time. I'm just so used to saying just Joey, you know, but Tarion is a weapon of mass vegan destruction in a positive way. She is doing so, she's right there by Joey's side the whole time as far as I can tell. And a legend, an absolute legend, fucking legend. Why would I ignore a comedy show? This is hilarious. Thanks Jasper, fucking appreciate it bro. If you're vegan and don't know what to do to make an impact, then get rich. Then you can find, find important projects. Exactly. 
You don't even need to go talk about veganism. You can just fund people who are already doing it. 100%. Fund vegan businesses, fund vegan meat companies, help struggling sanctuaries, help campaigns get off the ground, help activists um, pay their bills. You know, what do people think activists are paying their bills with? Like they're out on the streets or they're making content or they're doing lives or they're fucking busy. Like it's, it's a lot of back end stuff to create all this content and do all this stuff. And, um, you know, it's, yeah, it's just one example. So yeah, getting rich is the way everybody, every vegan, I wish it was all their goals. Someone said to me in one of my streams in the comment section the other day, they're like, yeah, getting, getting rich is my dream too, James. Getting rich for the animals is my dream too. And I said, it's not a dream, bro. It's a goal. Make it a goal. Don't just be like, wow, how good would that be? Be like, how do I make this happen? Okay, and start moving towards it as best you can. Maybe you'll make it, maybe you won't. But if you do, you know, you have a better chance of making it if you're actually aiming for it. Whoops. No spoilers. I will not give any spoilers on Christspiracy except to say that you absolutely must watch it and it's, it's going to blow your mind. Uh... Is there any anti-vegan YouTubers that stand out to you? Like someone you really dislike online? Yeah, I fucking hate Paul Saladino. That guy is a fucking joker. And I hate him because I know he knows he's full of shit. I know he knows he's deceiving his crowd. I know he knows that he doesn't have... He can't back up the claims that he makes. And I know he knows his shit. So I, I can't stand that level of dishonesty, especially on topics so important as human health and animal suffering. I cannot stand the guy. I hate his popularity. And that so many people just think he's legit when I know he's intentionally deceiving his crowd, making money off him and um, for all the wrong reasons. I, I can't stand that guy. I caught him out in a rap. The one rap I've released was a, just a verse calling out Sean Baker and Paul Saladino. And um, Baker, actually, to his credit, after dodging me for months and then still trying to dodge me after saying he would do a debate. But eventually he got around to doing a debate. And it wasn't really a debate. He barely gave us any time. He told us halfway through, oh, I've only got 30 more minutes to go. It's like, bro, this isn't even long enough for a proper conversation. But yeah, I really can't stand that guy. And um, I would love nothing more just to see him get absolutely owned by somebody like Dr. Arvey or Vegan Gaines or anybody really who could do the job well. Um, and then some, I'd like him to be held accountable for his horrible, dangerous advice. But that's probably not gonna happen, is it? Because that's just the way of the world right now. So yeah, he sticks out to me as somebody I really cannot fucking stand. His voice, bro, like everything about him, I just, I'm like, you are fucking cringe, dude. Yeah. James, what country you live in, bro? Brazil, zil, zil. I'm living in Brazil. I've been here over a year now. I'm having the best time ever. I love Brazil. And um, yeah, that's where my wife's from. So we came here. It was very, all of a sudden, we we're in Bali, but we'd had a, I had a really horrible time in Bali. And so my wife had a pretty horrible time in Bali too because she's had to deal with all my shit. And there was a lot to deal with. So um, yeah, and then we just had this random idea. Maybe we could go to Brazil. And after we thought about it for a bit longer, we are like, Hell yeah. Then we got here, started going to the raves, started eating ponche queijo, started learning a little more Portuguese and uh, hanging with Nikki's fam and um, got a, a house we're really enjoying and our cats like it here and yeah, the weather's good. The parties are the best. The parties are the best in the world. So yeah. <clears throat> I, was not I think it just became available in Canada like yesterday, 40 year vegan. Check that out. Pretty sure I read that. Uh, Christ Bruce was amazing. Oh my God. You're him? HFS. What's HFS? Globius Wobius. <laughs> meat eaters should be forced to capture their own meat if they wish to remain meat eaters. Remove the easy market availability. Um... Yeah, to me, it's just like meat eaters should not have the opportunity to have somebody else's body parts in their mouth at all. 
Um, Jasper, something sold over my head. I don't know, maybe, bro. Don't know. What did you say? I can't remember. I'm sure, it was um, probably a little ignorant, a little negative, and probably not that funny. But let me know. I don't know if I saw your comment. Um, yes, yeah, so you can't force anyone to do anything. You just have to do your best to do whatever you can that you think will push them in the right direction. And sometimes it's tough love, and sometimes it's very friendly, peaceful. Everybody's different. I'm not spoiling the doco, Karen. Um, all right. Yes, Taryn does do great outreach. She She's on point with it. She's inspiring. I can see. I, the last video I saw of her was like yesterday or the day before. And it was her talking to an Indian guy who at first, I think he, he was like, oh, nah. But then she got him thinking. And he was like, yeah, you're right. And it was beautiful, actually, now that I remember. She, he was like, wow, I'm actually really sorry. I'm really sorry to the animals for, for what I've been doing. Like, bro, that's exactly what's up right there. So, yeah, she's doing a really great job. And, like, she's going in the slaughterhouses and everything as well. You know, she's doing it all. And um, it ain't easy, man. It's fucked up. Especially, like, you can see Taryn really feels for the animals in a big way. And, um, yeah, it ain't easy. So, Respect. Do I follow Mel and Steve? Yeah, I just started following them pretty recently, I think. And massive respect to them too. They're doing a phenomenal job as well. Absolutely. So cool. I to be honest, I don't I don't really I barely ever watch street outreach. It just doesn't interest me that much. Um Yeah, I already know how all the conversations go. I've already had them a million times. I have them every day. So it's just not something I don't, I try to watch things that I think I'm going to learn and grow from. I feel like I'm pretty good with street outreach. I try to, I, the last couple of years I've focused a lot more on how a debate goes and how to make sure it goes in the right direction and not let people steer you off and things like that. Did James get his outfit at Rick James's estate sale? I got this shirt from raveon.com. But um, yeah, Rick James is a pimp daddy and he's got mad fits. So I'm actually just going to take that one as a compliment, bro. So thanks, dude. Yeah, it's a mad shirt. I know. I know it is. And now you know where to get it. Go, go for it. Lots of good shirts there. <clears throat> MTC Crazy with another mad quote. Faith is the courage to test ideas for truth. With faith, people discover whether ideas are true or false. With faith, people learn principles. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I agree with that, actually. Faith is the courage to test ideas for truth. I thought faith was the belief in something without evidence. And so, yeah, it seems a little different than my understanding of faith. But I understand what you're trying to say there. You know, if we just change it where with, like, experimenting, maybe, is the courage to test ideas for truth. Or I don't know. Maybe not experimenting either. But, yeah. Start working 12 day, twelve hour days until you work it out. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, I forget. Paul Salad Dino. Salad in his name. The irony. Dino in his name, like dinosaurs. How, how old his mentality towards animals is. 40-year-old vegan gets 150 bucks a month from Patreon. It helps with gas, petrol every month. We need paid advocacy. Bro, awesome. I hope you can times that number by 10 and 10 extra activism. That's epic. Who is a scammer trying to get rich? I don't know who you're talking about there. I know you ain't talking shit about me because you've been saying nice shit to me, bro. So who are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about Saladino. All right, cool. Yes, I fucking agree, bro. 100%. He is a charlatan already vegan, says 100%. Not even a question. I didn't know you had a Patreon. I will seek it out in a few weeks. Thank you so much. I do have, wait, were you talking about me? Maybe not. I have a Patreon too, but um, maybe you're talking about, <laughs> maybe you're talking about 40 year vegan there. Either way, uh, support activists. Good for you. Um, <clears throat> did I see the debate with Baker and Garth Davis? Of course I did. <laughs> as soon as it came out, I was like, click. And I found it, Okay, but Garth is great at what he does and he did a reasonably good job. 
But I know guys like Arvi and like Vegan Gains who I think would just dominate so much harder in a debate on health. Um, and that's not to say that they necessarily know more about health, although maybe they do in some areas, probably. But they also really just know how to have a debate and hold people's feet to the fire and not get off track and make sure people concede on points and show contradictions and logical fallacies and all the things very important when having a debate. It's not just like show up and have a chat. That's a conversation. Debate is a whole nother ball game. And if you're good at debate, like these guys are, and then to add to that, they're well-versed in yeah logic and all that kind of stuff. So these guys don't fuck around when it comes to debate. Where's Nikki? I thought she was going to bring some sushi rice. I'm starving over here. The time is 23.23. Poor Def gave horrific advice to so many. Positive, he got in trouble. So he stopped the Carnival MD stuff. He got in trouble? I didn't know about that. Have you thought of highlighting upcoming and newish vegan activists? David Rams did it recently and it's an awesome way to give a boost to newer activists. If you check my Instagram, you'll see I am regularly posting other activists and like just right now I'm, I'm sharing um, Andy the other day I shared Nick the Nutrivore um, who's got a quite a small following and who else have I had on in the few streams I've done um, Vegan Gains has got a big channel but yeah of course I'm always trying to share people who I think are doing a good job absolutely and on my stream newish vegan activists yeah I think that's a really good idea I think that's a really good idea oh yeah I had um Oh, no, I haven't had him on yet. I was on his stream. It was um, Vegan Of Course, Sky from Vegan Of Course. Yeah, I'd love to have, have him on stream sometime. He's, he's trying to make it as an activist too. You know, make some money. Like, it doesn't just fall out of the sky. People think weird shit about activists. And they think activists should be poor. Nah, activists should be rolling in the dough. If you want them to make a difference, they shouldn't be stressing about keeping the fucking lights on. And like, you know, just shit, like shit like that. I mean, ideally, ideally, I, I really think, yeah. See what they can do when they get half a million bucks. See what they do then. See what the ignorant demos become if they don't have to worry about like a lot of things. They could, they could do billboards. They could do um, TV commercials. They could do uh, pump the ads on social media. They could potentially pay to get on big, uh, podcast there's just so many possibilities yes yeah, since yesterday Pignorant is available in lots of new countries exactly so there you go now you know it was fun being on David Rams and hanging out in person it was cool too ah oh, beautiful yeah I didn't know you were on the <laughs> I didn't know you were on the stream David's awesome I was talking to him today he sent me a great tip actually so I'll share it with you guys now that if you do live streams in portrait mode because the, the way that YouTube is now, it's like TikTok where you're scrolling and just random lives will come up. You get a lot more viewers. Uh, so he was doing that today and he had so many meat eaters talking shit. I was in there busting ass with him. And yeah, he, um, he's a great guy for sure. And he seems great to her. I don't, I haven't had much communication with her, but if David is with her, I'm sure she's a phenomenal person. My eyes look like yours right now. Why is that? Because of this? Because of this shit? I ain't even blazed in hours. I'm waiting for a 420 tip. No pressure, but a 420 tip. That's what I'm waiting for. <clears throat> we'll make my night. Yeah, cool. Two vegan activists for me. Vegan Muscle Outreach out in the UK. Record Street Outreach. Oh, great. Boom. Shout out to Vegan Muscle Outreach. Check them out. I do know Hench Herbivore. I don't know if he bought into the bullshit, some of the shit that was being spread about me over recent years because we used to have, like, I think we talked a few times. It was all good, all respect. And then I noticed he unfollowed me. Maybe he just got over me yelling at people and talking shit or... I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm good with him, totally, 100%. I think he's a, a fucking great guy, doing great work. He's got an amazing body. He's a great representation of badass vegan gangsters. 
Baker will absolutely never have the good debaters on. Neither will Saladino. Saladino will debate people he knows don't have a chance because they're not good debaters. And that is it. He would never... What, look, i tell you about Baker. When I got my debate going with Baker, I said, I'm bringing someone on. He said, cool. I said, Dr. Avi. He's like, nah, not Dr. Avi. Why? I don't like him. Who gives a shit, bro? Where you want, you want to argue your point against the best of what we've got, right? You're like the carnivore, carnivore doctor guy. We've got the vegan doctor guy here. Why not have two worlds collide? Best arguments win, you know? Nah, not him. So like, okay, you, just, you know that he will destroy you. You know it. We all know it. That's why I wanted him on. And uh, yeah, that's why. Globius Wobius says, I didn't recognize you. You didn't speak for a year, was it? Yes, that was me for animal rights. Yes, that was why. That's unbelievable. You look like an absolute unit now. Hard pressed. Boom. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I am a lot stronger these days. Um, and you can relate to chronic pain. What the fuck is this? What happened? What is this? My poor wife, all right? She rolls joints the way she rolls sushi. What is this? Is this some sort of sick joke? What is it? You got no idea what you're doing. She watched a tutorial. I think we need to get that channel banned. Anyway, thank you very much. This is going to be delicious. But I, let me give you a tip. Let me give you a tip. You didn't spread the rice out. I did. No, you did not. I can see. He, There's no rice on this. He's like cut the seaweed in twice. In oh, you know? I've never done that in my life. Yeah. I'll show you just making little ones and halving yeah. the seaweed. Yeah. Anybody ever done that before in this chat? Um, it was Japanese. No, if it was Japanese, maybe I'm missing out. Maybe this is legit. Right. But... I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Wait, I want to say something because I skipped a message earlier that I forgot. Someone said some, some name about the chat. I can't remember what it was. It was like a cash be something. Can you write it again? And then I will um, respond to it because I'm not going to be able to find it right now. No, 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 no. I'm not making fun. It's delicious, baby. I'm loving it. Thank you so much. Are you going to make more? Please make more. I'm so hungry. All right. Where we at? Guys, the chat's cranking tonight. I'm appreciating it. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Well, okay. Omar has said, I assume you're talking to me with that, James. From a debate to outreach our approaches, however, the debate may be effective with some subset of persons and not the majority of peeps. The thing about debate is that you can be a, an excellent debater, but when you're having conversations, it, it might not even look at all like you're having a debate, but you've got this whole process that is different to most people, that is far more structured, and that will help you lead people to where you want them to lead and not get caught in any traps. It's like a war, and it's a big strategy going on there. Voice of Vegans is great underrated activist in India, mad, and... Eat Pussy Not Animals is a great activist in Puerto Rico. Respect. There you go. Yeah, Sky works for Peter. Hell yeah. What's wrong with that, bro? Peter are the OGs. I got no problem with Peter. Well, maybe I have some, but at the end of the day, I can, at least from my perspective, it looks like they've got their intentions in the right place. They don't want animals to be property. They do a lot of great work for animals. And yeah, what should I, what's the problem with Peter? Mmm, this is actually so delicious. Good night, already vegan. Vegan postmortem is another one you discovered recently. Never heard of them. Gig is driving. <clears throat> Gig drive fast. Gig is in the house. Ah, the cash be contingent. I like it. But I was thinking the Cashby cartel. What do you guys prefer more? The Cashby contingent or the Cashby cartel? Hey, TRT. Yes, I am on TRT. Not because I needed it, but because I am doing, um, <clears throat> what's it called? Fucking blasting and cruising. Blasting and cruising. 
My wife is beautiful. Karen, thank you. I don't think I'm being biased here when I say she is the most beautiful woman on earth. That's just my opinion. You guys can have your own opinions, but my opinion is she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Okay. No injustice lasts forever. Peace. Go edit a video. Crank it out, dude. Good stuff. Channel three. I see you are have bought into the idea that there's something wrong with seed oils. Please check out the Nutrivore's responses about seed oils. He's made the most comprehensive rebuttal to the seed oil drama and no one has been able to debunk it so far. So I don't think you should be afraid of seed oils. Doesn't mean you should be smashing them, drinking them heaps. They're very high in calories, but I don't think... This whole seed oil drama is ridiculous. Night, James and Nikki. Catch you in the next one. It's 2.30 a.m. here, so sleep time. Max Louise. Muito obrigado. Thank you so much for the donation, for the tip. Appreciate it very much. We will buy our next sushi with this tip. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It didn't, it didn't go, cha-ching, Max Louise, not James and Nikki, da 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 Did anybody hear that? Because I didn't. Let me know if you've heard it. It's supposed to make a bunch of noises and stuff. Peter euthanized a whole bunch of homeless dogs. I dislike them. I've heard rumors like this about Peter. Maybe it's true. I don't know why they would have done that. Maybe, maybe they were sick. Maybe they were diseased. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it doesn't sound like the Peter. Oh, you don't edit the super chat, not stream elements. Andy just messaged me and said, James, I had to, f Jimmy, I had to flee. So sorry about the tech issues. I will source headphones ASAP. We're going to get him back here another time. Um, right. So if you want to ever tip, please do it through the stream elements thing. Then it'll be like, cha-ching, pop up. And also stream elements take a way less cut of our tips than YouTube does. So thank you. Thank you so much though. Oh, I can like it. Boom, there you go, four. Good night to Max Louise and thanks again. Um, right. The moon used to be made of cheese, but then Peter blew it up and replaced it with a rock. Respect. I used deductive reasoning for the Socratic method and visualization. Boom, Omar, sounds like you've got a nice, nice approach there. Um... There is a, okay. Nutrition made simple, not vegan, but also has debunked a lot of the seed oil fear mongering. Cool. James, do I ever watch, Ben, sorry, has asked, do I ever watch UFC? Um, not, I don't really like make an effort to watch a live fight. No, I don't really watch it. I've, I've what if it's, if I see it or something, I might watch it. Or I might watch some highlights very rarely. Um, I'm not, I'm not really into it. I don't follow it or anything like that, but yeah, sometimes I, sometimes I watch a YouTube video on it or some vegan world said, James, you are so lucky that you're with the most beautiful woman you have ever seen. I know. Can you believe my shock to, for that to happen to me? Like <laughs> what the fuck, man? That is, that's amazing. As soon as I saw her, I was, I was like, what the fuck? This woman is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I know. I'm lucky. Fucking heaps lucky. I meant the debate, bro. Not going to be always effective as an outreacher. The tools are great and can be utilized for sure. Well, in my experience... The guys who I respect most at debates, 
the little bit of outreach that I've seen them do has been top tier. So yeah, but yeah, it won't always cross over necessarily, but um, yeah, it, it crosses over in a lot of ways. Peter gets a bad rap for everything. I highly doubt people that are vegan and care for the animals would go on a dog hunting spree. Yeah, I don't know the story. Who knows what happened? Maybe there was a mistake. Maybe someone did something wrong. Maybe they made a bad call. Maybe, you know, maybe they even made a fucking bad call. I could, I could say, like, if they did, guys, that was fucked up. Everything you guys do is mad, but that's fucked up. So, you know, that's okay. Like, we don't need to throw Peter away because of a bad call they made however many years ago when dogs were euthanized. I don't think that makes sense. Assuming that they agree that was a bad idea. And maybe, maybe it was in their best interest. Like, I don't know anything about this situation. It's very possible they had their reasons. Like, that's what I'm saying. They're PETA. People for the ethical treatment of animals. If they didn't... And I've met Ingrid and, like, everybody knows stories about Ingrid, or at least in this circle. She's fucking legendary. Um, so I find it hard to believe that they have done something really bad. And if they did, I find it hard to believe that they wouldn't that they would stand by it and yeah, I don't know, seems weird. Oh, okay. Nutrition made simple, said he's vegan. Could be wrong, but didn't say it in one video. Cool. Hopefully he's vegan. If he's all about nutrition, how can you not be vegan at this point? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand how that's still a thing that um, we have studies showing how healthy vegans can be live longer, less diseases. And people still promote eating meat. Like it's just surely to reach a broader audience and people think, oh, well, they'll never stop eating meat. But if I tell them to eat this kind of meat and limit it a little bit, but really they should just be honest and say, it's like when people say, don't drink too much alcohol. It's like, just don't drink that shit. It's fucking bad. That's my opinion. Seed oil consumption was responsible for my gallbladder inflammation. I mean, eating, eating veggie burgers for decades. How do you know, bro? Could have been many things, you know? How do you know it was seed oils? Because of some fear mongering that's made you think maybe it was seed oils. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe you've got your reason why you think that. But yeah, seems it's, yeah, who knows, bro? You tell me. Tell me if you've got answers to those questions. Um, I am going to bounce pretty soon, guys. In fact, I'm going to bounce within the next three minutes. We've already been streaming for two hours, 37. It was. Whoa. How do you know? What makes you think that? How do you, why do you think it was vegan burgers with seed oils? You ate seed oils your whole life before that too, right? Before the vegan burgers with seed oils. Gig. So... Tell me, dude. Um, Lab-grown animal products will be the animal save it, salvation. Agree or disagree? Thumbs up if you agree. Thumbs down if you disagree. I do, I do agree um, that it will be a major shift just replacing flesh with flesh that wasn't from slaughtered animals. So yeah, I hope it's going to be big. I hope people aren't just so ridiculous. Because also I think, well, we already have vegan meat. Like it's fucking good, you know. If people can't enjoy a Beyond Burger because they're like, this isn't real meat when it tastes like meat and it's delicious and there's everything you love about meat, you find in a Beyond Burger. If that's not enough for them, I also am a little skeptical that lab meat will be enough, but we're talking about real flesh here. So it's going to be really trippy to see this come about. And um, I hope people aren't like, ew, grown in the lab when, yeah, it's, it's a lab, a sterile lab versus a filthy factory farm and slaughterhouse. You know. Fundamental attribution bias. Peter is a large organ, so large organizations go with departments and teams slash groups. It could be that the team or project only. Yeah, exactly. Um, it could very much be a branch and someone made a bad call. Um, facts. Yeah, 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 cool gig. I came to hear Andy chat with you. Where is he? Yeah, Karen, so Andy just messaged me. He didn't have headphones, so the the sound was very echoey. And then just as we were about to start reacting to his videos after like 40 minutes of problems. 
Oh, Max. Oh, no, sorry, I'm tripping. Sorry, I'm tripping. Um, after all that, his stream cut off and he bounced and he's busy now. But we are going to uh, do this with Andy another time. For sure. My favorite energy drink, if we're talking about like fizzy drink, you know, soda drink, V. I love V. Um, it's not in this country, but I love V and black V's. Delicious. I like also the watermelon Red Bull, which we always get at the raves. So delicious. So, peeps, I'm rolling. I'm bouncing. I'm going to be back soon, as in maybe tomorrow or probably tomorrow. See who I can bring on. If you guys have any recommendations for people you want me to stream with, for videos you want me to react with, react to, then best thing to do is probably I'm I've actually got a, a um fuck what's it called it, I always forget discord I've got a discord that I just started Nikki opened it up for me in that yesterday so I'm gonna probably make this because the way I see it it's like an ongoing chat that can always be there and if you guys have ideas over the time you want me to speak to somebody you want me to do a debate with somebody or get something happening with a couple of people react to anything going on old stuff, new stuff, whatever, then you should be able to put it there. In the meantime, maybe you can just DM me on Instagram. But I'll be having that up pretty soon. And Omar Vegan Run. Bro, thank you so much for the tip. I really appreciate it, man. I really do. Thank you so much for supporting me, supporting the channel, supporting my family, and keeping the lights on. And uh, can you please give notice when you are going live with other activists? I'll try. Uh... With me and Andy just then, it was like, yo, Andy, you free? You want to do, you want to come on the stream? And he was like, yeah. So there was really no notice for anybody, including Andy. But actually, yes, I, um, Nikki has, she's integral to this stream. She made a template today where it's like, who I'm going live with. And um, yes, you'll be seeing that in the future. Check out Vegan Crypto some other time, some other time. Kick. What does that mean? I don't know. All right. Yeah. Thanks again, Omar. And thank you everybody for joining me. Thank you so much for all your contribution to the chat. And um, yeah, you guys are legends. We'll, I'll be seeing you again soon. I really appreciate you guys coming on and we all have a space here to just share freely. And I love that. I think vegans need more of that. And also anybody's welcome. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the stream and until next time. Peace.